What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning and welcome. It is Sunday, so that means it is time for the Get Right. I am Kelvin Unique. And I'm Eric Devante. And I'm Christopher Armani. And we're here. We made it, guys. We have made it to the last Sunday of the year. 2018 is almost over. This is so exciting. We got a day and a half. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Damn. Uh, think about it like January that. January is next week, next right? month. That's right. Whole, next year. What, 48 hours from now? Yeah. Is it two days? Yeah, it's two yeah. days. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. How, 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 I, yeah. I don't never feel like it's crazy when a new year comes. Like, it's, it's supposed to come. <laughs> it's supposed to come and, and Like, I never be like, it? damn, dog, 2019 <laughs> is really tomorrow. Like, I never, it's supposed, it's tomorrow. Like, you it's know, supposed to be here. The older I get, the more I realize that I'm like, damn, like, it's 2019. Like, but why do people do that? I don't know because you don't expect it to happen. Like when you were like 12, you didn't expect it, it to happen January 1st, 2018. No, I didn't. Expe- <laughs> I don't know if I was going to make it to 2019. Oh, you look at it as if you didn't think you were going to yeah, be alive. Yeah, like damn, like we did it. I can't believe we made it. I'm pretty young. I thought I was going to be alive. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. like, I, I, know I don't gonna think of to like, be, oh shit, I'm about to die. I know I'm going to live to be 109, but I just really, I'm always shocked. Yeah, I'm never shocked. I think about it like, damn, the year goes by faster and faster every year. Yeah, yeah. That's this year went by yeah. pretty fast. Yeah. Quick as fuck. I January was long. Too. January was who? January was long. Was no, it? it wasn't. January that. lasted so fucking long. Y'all be saying shit be lasting six. Oh weeks. my goodness, <laughs> but it don't. <laughs> Seem like it took years Dramatic to finish. You don't even remember January. I don't. That's how long it took. I remember Trump inauguration. And then, like, after that, it just kept going and going. I just felt like it was... Well, that wasn't even Trump inauguration this year, was it? 2018 started no, that off... No, That was two years it ago. It started off with... What, it feels like Trump's been president for longest shit. It does. What did he do? He did something nothing. at the top He's of the year. Nothing. No, well, he hasn't accomplished anything but piss people <laughs> he off. He threw paper towels at people. Yeah. Oh, that's in, Puerto Rico. in Puerto that's Rico. In Puerto Rico. Like basketball. <laughs> I don't understand. But how are y'all? How are y'all feeling this last week of the year? I'm good. How was y'all Christmas? It was cute. It was cute. I spent it with friends... Uh, my family was back east, and I was not buying a ticket. Mm-hmm. That is out the. Pi- <laughs> That's a dumb bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, Spirit got that. um these things like you could pay monthly on flights. Really? Mm-hmm. How does that work? Like you, you basically like do it as if you buy the checkout for the flight, and then at the end, what? Spirit tickets ten dollars. <laughs> what you gonna pay? I mean, a for month? Christmas is not ten dollars. <laughs> Spirit does lay away. Yeah. So, because that's what I did. Spirit tickets be a good fifty dollars. No, they don't. Yes, they, they do. Around, they for Christmas, higher. no, they don't. <laughs> they can get higher. Yeah, for Christmas, it's high as shit. I'll put this 50 cent on this ticket real quick <laughs> so I can go to Arizona. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you do it. You, uh, It has to be a round trip, and then you can pay monthly on it. Hmm. That's what I did for my Christmas trip. How much was your trip? You flew spirit? Oh. Mm-hmm. Only because I left late. I was say, I would never pitch you as a spirit person. Yes, Chris would well, they fly late. About it down. You, but then yeah. again, he's also cheap. Southeast. Southwest. <laughs> Because <laughs> they leave the latest That's why I flew that Oh okay, oh, okay. So, Uh huh That makes sense yeah. yeah If I was taking off Yeah I would've flew That new hat Yeah my mom got it for me oh, oh that's so cute <laughs> She got me a hat and, A hat and scarf set A black and blue one. That's adorable Tell Miss Miss Ragland She gave me a gift too She gave me some wonderful chocolates And I had a card And it had glitter in it Oh. Yeah, I opened my card and I spilled it all over my card. All over, it was, and all I should have known that she was gonna put glitter in it because oh, she always does that. It was all over my bed and it made me excited. Yep. I was so happy and grateful for that. Mm. So shout out to Miss Raglan. That's so cute. What else yes. happened, Eric? Shit, what else happened to me this week? Uh, oh, the job blessed it. The job really blessed it. I got a fifty dollar Amazon gift card. I uh, from like, a drug person? No, not wow, why I from the drug fifty dollars and an Amazon gift card. Because they what can't else track that money. Need. They can't <laughs> track that money. I wouldn't track that money. What? What, Amazon gift card? Yeah, I would put my drug money on my Amazon gift card. You just type of motherfucker that's going to get caught. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what? Because think about it. Amazon has everything. So, like, if I wanted to buy stuff, like, I'd just go on Amazon and put all my drug money on my Amazon gift card. I mean, I guess. But wouldn't they look at it like this nigga has a million dollars in his Amazon gift card? No one's checking Amazon like that. The you feds, don't know that? The feds are not coming for Amazon. You don't know that. I will find it real suspicious if I see a million dollars on someone's gift card. Yeah, I that's. I mean, that's high. How do you know Bill Gates didn't give thing. it to me? Oprah, Tyler Perry. So you don't expect to get questioned. Warren Buffett. So you don't expect to get questioned. No, I would. 
If I was CEO, I, like, why I are you playing? Do account. you want my million dollars? Do you not want my million dollars? I'll just be this confused on how the hell you put a million dollars on the gift card. This is making you more million dollars. Don't, don't, don't gift cards got limit? Yeah, gift cards have I, limits. That's, that's what I was saying. So how the fuck did you finagle the system to put a million on it? That's a lot hey. for a gift card. Because I feel like gift cards is like five hundred dollars. Do you want my business? Tops a thousand. Yeah. Do you not want my business? I guess. Yeah, so um, <laughs> so the drug person gave you fifty dollar gift card. No, no, it was not him. <laughs> oh my god, you are ruining it. Uh, the fifty dollars came from some other guy who has the same name as me. So many fucking Eric's in that building. It's cute though. Confusing as hell. Yeah, it is. confusing as hell. <laughs> Sounds confusing as hell. Um, what else did I get? I just got additional money. I love additional money. It was a real good Christmas, and I ate the whole time at work. Yes. <laughs> I was hungry. They brought you that wine cup. Yes, absolutely. I was there till twelve a.m. I should have been lit. After hours, what lit. happens? Like nothing. Like huh? nigga, is it a twenty-four hour system or no? Like, like yes, it does go twenty-four hours. My position doesn't go twenty-four hours, but like concierge is a thing twenty-four hours, oh, which okay. is trash. Because if you work that graveyard shift, I'd be asleep. The devil is alive. Hell yeah, it would. Obviously, bad work. No, they all the everybody, time. everybody would rob us. It's so late. They would walk right past. Right. Because I would literally lay my elbow on the button so I can like go to sleep. So if anybody <laughs> want to get in, they the just, doors just the open. doors already open. Nah, the doors locked. <laughs> They're not supposed to get in if they have no um, key card, no key to get up in well, there. Well, they, and then Kelvin gonna get fired. Clearly, obviously, because you ain't even have to do that. I'm yeah. waiting on the button. <laughs> on the what? On the button. Let you in. <laughs> Come on in. Bitch, that make no sense. But other than that, I'm trying to make sure I'm trying to do things to make my week less just work. Because every week I sum up my week with work. Mm-hmm. I need to be doing more stuff. Well, there's not a lot. Of th- well, there is a lot of things to do. There's a LA. lot to do. With there's LA, a lot and of I things don't, to do. I haven't done much since being. I mean, I've done a fair amount that much. Normally, it'd be like you or someone else to put me onto something. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try and go to R&B only. Are you going? I feel like I'm being forced to go, but yeah. Chris, I feel like that you're would be a not really good event. being forced to go. First of all, Kelvin had just randomly texted me one day. It was like, I bought tickets, we're going. I didn't even say, oh, yeah, I'll go. Like, he just told me, For I bought tickets, I'm going. the last two years, me and Chris have had the finagles of Christmas. I mean, New Year's Eve. I don't even know if that's even So, the sense. first one. Let's talk about 2016. Let's, 2016. 2016 was your fucking fault. We listened to my sayings. We listened to you. No, we listened to my sayings. We listened to a motherfucker who's not even from LA. Yeah, we listened to my sayings. He's like, yeah, we're going to the room on um, New Year's Eve. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Let's go to the room. You know who was in the room? Cool. The room. <laughs> the space. Oh, Literally no. 15 people. It was so trash. 15 people. So, we went people. down the street and ended up at some Fiesta Costa thing, which was a lot Which was decent. Oh, like the cantina was, type yeah, thing? So much better than what we were because it was trash either way. And then last year. I had a great time. I left at 1230. Chris left at 1230. I, I had a great, I had a great <laughs> time. Christ. I had a great time. We went to some... Some fancy ass bar. It that was my sister, not a fancy ass bar. That my sister, wall bar my in East sister, LA with all these white people. It was actually in Culver City. It was in Culver, Culver City, City with all these white Come people. On, Culver City. And my I said, sister oh, had no. a my sister had a friend who was getting engaged. I think, and she had a New Year's little party. Mm-hmm. I, my sister invited me, and I was like, okay. And I told him, and he wanted to go. So, and then after that, I left and got drunk, and that's when I stopped drinking. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. So after I left Chris at twelve thirty because I did bring the new New Year and at the white people bar. And then went to have some debauchery. So this year, I said, you know what? I'm just going to cancel out all the middle things. And I'm going to go with the vibe. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with somewhere I know I will have a good time. I can two-step my life away. I'm not really worried about nothing. And that's going to be R&B only. How much are the tickets? Uh, the tickets were 30 when I got them. I've seen 39 now. And then they had the VIP section, which is in the balcony with chairs and stuff. And then that was like... A hundred. Jesus Christ, that won't be. I the got option. like the floor. I got like the regular because we can lean against the wall if we get tired. That's what it won't be. Yeah, I'll be leaving at twelve thirty. If yeah, I get Chris paid on New Year's, I will. Why? I'm not leaving at twelve thirty. I mean, I don't really. I don't need to be out after the ball drops. Is yeah, I'm. Over? I'm all right. I, after we the do the countdown. The, oh well, then again, you already cuff. You done? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I'm good. That's what I'm like. Oh, kiss for New Year's. Right. That's supposed to be I have New to New send Year's a kiss. virtual kiss. A, I don't think. I'm sending a virtual one. I'm just gonna grab somebody. Yeah, see, that's why I'm leaving at 1230. That's harassing. Because you grabbing fucking strangers. <laughs> Come here, girl. <laughs> like your damn president. I'm going to grab a girl. I'm not going to grab a guy, though, because that could be really awkward. That could be. Really you grabbing bad. a girl would be really awkward. Why? For her or for me? For for you, really. <laughs> Probably for the both no, of you. Yeah, no, but more so you. Yeah. Now, I told you I'm straight now. Uh, 
So y'all gonna hit me with the silence? <laughs> y'all gonna hit me with the cricket? I didn't know what to that say to the lie. So tra- y'all are rude. It was a lie. Because no one knew what to say to that. Right. Before. It was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> right. My sentiments exactly. Whatever. Exactly. But yeah, that's what I'm doing for New Year's Eve. That's what Chris is doing. That's what we're doing. I think you should come. I'm going to try and go. You should come. I think it's going to be. I, this is how I always feel. Um, wherever I am, it's a vibe. That's my, that's, that's my New Year's 2019. It's a vibe, Chris. Wherever we are, it's a vibe. Because this year was do the most 2018. It mm-hmm. was. Oh, shit. I didn't even remember the hashtag. It went so fast. It was do the most 2018. I think this year, it's a vibe. And I think I did do the most. You did. When, right? when I felt like it. When you like, felt like it. When the when the time was appropriate, I did mm. I did do the most. And I'm proud yeah. of you. That was good. But I think 2019, it's just time to like do whatever you want to do. Like If this is how I feel, this is how I feel. It's a vibe. Well, that's the same thing as doing the most. Well, no, if this is the, how I feel. I'm gonna do it. I feel like do the most is like we're gonna be extra. We're right, gonna, we go gonna be in your face. I feel oh, like see, see, I wasn't extra with it. I was, I was just doing the most. Like, I was definitely extra with it. But I feel like 2019 is just like vibe. it's a vibe. Like whatever vibe I'm feeling, if I'm feeling like being extra, I'm gonna be extra. If I feel like being like mellow and cool, I'm gonna be mellow and cool. If I feel like just being me, it's a vibe, <laughs> bro. And you just gotta get on this vibe. If you're not on this wave, then get off. Like put your put your surfboard up. <laughs> like get off my wave. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what. Yeah, it's a vibe, bro. All twenty nineteen. Are you high? No, not as high as you. Look, bitch. <laughs> Don't make. It that's why he me. came in right into the club. Right the- <laughs> <laughs> Last right little puff. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches, no, I keep hit. taking Uber Express pool and niggas keep hopping yeah, in the y'all pool. Passing the blunt in Uber <laughs> Express pool. Wow, it's man. A, it wasn't Express. This is California. Get mm-hmm. into it. What How was your about? week? For me? Yes. My week was good. Christmas was good. Um, went to a friend's miss. Uh, that was cool. Is that what it's called? A friend's miss. If we have a friend's gimme, I, giving, I guess it's a friend's miss. I, I named it a friend's miss. Oh, you just came up with that. I just came up with oh. that. Um, so that was cool. Okay. Um, I got a new. I bought two new board games, mm-hmm. card games. I'm waiting for the other one to get in the mail. That's why I don't always like. I like to support black businesses, but I know from prior, I'm still waiting for one in the mail. So but the one I got, over. the one I got is Ox God. Yeah. Have you heard of? I this remember one? you telling me yeah. about it. We played it for Friendsmas. If you have the right people, it's lit. What is it again? I remember you talking about last Ox God. Like, so you give cards and like. They give you like a like so like um get chains for a twenty, play a song for the strippers. And then mm-hmm. your team versus the other team is three teams and then two teams battle and the third team judges who had the best song. Mm. It's a great it's a great thing. That sounds like if you have the right yeah. people, it was really good. We had some of so the wait, good people. That was a category then, like give me chains for a twenty and then I play a song. Is that what you said? Huh? Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, you had to play a song for the strippers. So, but what the, was the exact? What was the thing? Was like, used. give me change for a twenty. No, like, is that what you said? That, yeah, that's the, the title. Like, change, give me change for a twenty. Play a songs for the strippers. But I wouldn't give you change for a twenty. You right? He, song. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a the title. catchy title. Yeah. Oh, I thought that. Child okay. Is you thought you were getting money? No, I thought you were saying Christ. I have to play a song. Jesus, I don't know. Whenever I play it, I play it. Okay. Because I was but yeah, it, some of the people on the team were good. Some people just too drunk to play, and then some people just don't have good song choices. So <laughs> it was it was fun. all in all. But I think with the right group of people, it's definitely lit. So if you out there and you want to support black businesses, get Ox God. I'm still waiting on Millennial Tunes. I don't know whenever it's going to come, but they can run me my money back if it's not coming. Which and one is that one? Millennial Tunes. That's like all the 2000 things. So like Rocket Power and Romeo and Cheetah Girls and all that. Do you have tracking information? I they didn't never sent me the tracking information. They I said that my order not. was complete, but never sent anything. See, out. I learned my lesson with black businesses this year. Never in my life will I do that shit again. Oh my god, you can't rule them all off. No, just because of this one. Because and the thing is, she saw her. So uh, she had made me a painting and charged me one fifty. I gave her a hundred dollars, thinking that she was gonna send me my shit, and she never sent it. Won't even respond to text messages, won't respond to phone calls, won't even, won't do nothing. You was just paying her phone bill. She she, to she told me, talking about some, I, I'm paying my dues. This was in October. Who's paying dues that early? Nobody. <laughs> no, see, nobody in the frat is paying dues that early. I know y'all don't pay dues that early. black business. Not. I would never support you, uh, that. I know, that's what I said. I would never support her or her art. Because I was just like. Because <laughs> she's horrible. Like, that was, like, first of all, I'm your chapter brother. Oh, and then, no. like, that's just so. I thought we were cool. Like, I thought, I, we I cool. thought you was my nigga at one point. Speaking of dudes, <laughs> have y'all paid y'all dudes? No. Nope. Nope. 
Are y'all not paying them? No. I don't know. I think I'm going to pay them. I'm about to hustle up $100, and I'm just going to pay Oh, them. it's way more than $100. It's more than 100 Yeah, what the fuck it's have 180. you been? Where You're an alumni you now. It's 180 It's not I'm going to pay my $100. And <laughs> you'll get you not, You're not financial. <laughs> you're going to get this $100. <laughs> you're not, not going to be financial. Do they have the spirit not. payment plan? <laughs> 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 because if they do, I would love to jump on board. Yeah, no. Oh, jeez, yeah. I'm, I plan on being financial this year. Just for Conclave. Are but you're not registering. I'm so, not registering. Right. So what's the, what's but the I just point? Like, cause you, are you financial? Are you financial? Bitch, yes. And I'm going to walk away. That's why you say yeah. They ain't going to ask for your membership card. No, I'm, they're going to try to look me up in Blueprint. And I ain't got time for that. I, don't care. I could care less. I'm still gonna be there. Yeah, I've been, I I've be been, there. I've been consecutive for five, no, four years now. So I can take a year. I was consecutive for f- four, and then I took last year off because you know why. Well, actually, did I pay last year? No, you didn't. No, I didn't because you know why. Yeah, I, we all know why. We all, yeah, we all know why. <laughs> I because you I don't don't know why, I don't know why I'm trying to be censored. I didn't want to vote for the person that the chapter was voting for. So I said, y'all not gonna use my vote, so I'm not gonna pay chapter dues mm. to y'all because I don't want this nigga to be president, <laughs> and he wasn't president. And I feel like if I would have been financial, my vote would have took it over. Mm. But this year I'm going to be financial. And I'll be financial in 2020 for, I, for DC. One day yeah, I, wanna, that, I do want to be president. Fair. Yeah, if I do want to be president. Do you, oh yeah, you did say that. If they try and block me off from the vendors, Chris, then I'm gonna have to what? make something happen. You made a face. No, I didn't. Oh okay. Apparently that's a thing. If you're not financial, you can't get uh, anything from the vendors. That would kill me. Oh. Uh... <sighs> Was that Centennial? I think it was Centennial, where like you had to show your membership card, and you couldn't get like to the Sigma Exchange. Yeah, do they? But scan that's the Sigma it? Exchange. The Sigma no, Exchange is trash. It. No, it's not trash. About, it's let's not talk trash. about it. They, talk they about have the some shit. Let's talk about the frat. The Sigma Exchange is trash. No, it's, no, it's it not. is tra- no, it's trash. Really Capital no, trash. They actually have Capital some. Capital garbage bag. Dumpster. Dumpster trash. They have great stuff for people who are in grab traps that are 50 and older. No. I hate everything <clears throat> on the motherfucking I think, menu. I, no, I think the Sigma Exchange is really good because it's it's specific to Sigma. So yeah. they go out of their way to make sure it's not To make your... sure it looks gaudy and ugly and things I would never wear. I found some good stuff. I don't I know do who too. you've been looking well, at. Well, things that you guys wear are gaudy and ugly. And <laughs> you've never seen that one piece like, of ugly nail you I don't. I have all dope nail you. out of here. <laughs> I have, I have dope nail you too. From what? black businesses. I would I, get more from them if they would send them on time. And that's not just black people. It's the blacks. It's the Hispanics. All these niggas yep. are slow. Mm-hmm. Everybody is slow yeah. about sending paraphernalia. Send my shit before <laughs> Founders Day. That's what I want to vote on. Everybody doing all this voting. How do I get a part of the Sigma Exchange? Because that's why I want to be financial. So I can just get in there and say, look, y'all, we have Neos and people that are under the age of 50 that don't want to wear these grandpa sweaters. I do like a sweater. That when I when I want to be fashionably Sigma, mm-hmm. I want to be a fashionable Sigma. I should not have to go through a third party because guess what? I should be able to go straight to the Sigma Exchange and get some dope stuff. Your homecoming outfit for next year? Where'd you get it from? Or from this year? What's his name? Uh, it it was a third party. It was a third party. We should have got be able to have that type of stuff through the Sigma Exchange. Yeah. You got Whoever hired the pa- designers. They don't mm-hmm. think of shit like that. They don't think because they don't think of shit. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. It's 2019. No, it's 2018. Real. It's 2018, and we're Ooh, almost at the end. We're almost at almost. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm. I'm I think it's a Millie Rock. It's more like a Millie Rock sway. I think so that's lengthy. my new dance. <laughs> it's like my new dance. Like I was dancing in the uh, at work the other day. Oh, what's that I need to talk about because they got me fucked the fuck up. Which job? The gold gods. Oh, no, bitch. I was going with you today. <laughs> what you coming to get? I'm it's replacing this ring. What the fuck you want? Because I'm getting... It's a liquidation I think I'm going to come sale. tomorrow. You, you work tomorrow, right? I work tomorrow. You by yourself? Yep. Okay, I'm going to come give me some shit. What's my limit? <laughs> What's my limit, though? 525000 Seriously? <laughs> like, whatever I want? They got me fucked the fuck up. So, Let me no, tell you. Wait, I just want to confirm before I come up here. <laughs> Let me like, I can get whatever because I'm going to look on the website. Story. Can you answer me real quick? Look on the story circle, plot it. Let me know what you want. I'm over it. You ain't got to tell me because I'm over yeah, there. You ain't got to tell me once. Let me tell you, I've been today. working this wonderful job for the Gold Guys for two years. Has been paying all my bills, and I love them for it. But this is why they had me fucked up. Christmas. I'm about to get fired. I'm about to go in here real quick. <laughs> I'm coming tomorrow. My lunch we, break. I've been working as manager, acting manager for since October. Mm-hmm. The no, no, beginning of October. Like September. 
And Jordan comes back on the second. She texts me on Christmas Eve, mm-hmm. saying like, uh, "We're changing the hours, so everybody's gonna have like two to three days a week." <laughs> Bitch, who? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Cam doesn't want anybody. He only wants one worker and security there during the weekdays, and then the weekends we probably can fit two people. Wow. Bitch, we just got robbed on a weekday. Right. That's real. And did you, if I don't know if the people out here in America haven't seen the video, but it took three people to hold him down. They shouldn't have, but yeah, it took three people. <laughs> Bitch, what the fuck I'm going to do by myself? <laughs> That's real. <laughs> and security. <laughs> so first off, you got me fucked up because I'm not about to die for go, guys. So if y'all want something in here, take it all. <laughs> you want the code to the safe? Take it. <laughs> Y'all got money in here there? Here it is. Y'all got money in there? I will open it. Y'all got money in there? I'm not saying that on the air. So they can come and get me. Okay. <laughs> but I whatever think Chris is a person <laughs> you need to watch <laughs> out for. No, I'm really plotting right now. I'll leave the back door open for you. <laughs> like, I'm on, I'm on the website right now. Like, but, <laughs> yeah, they got me fucked shit. up. So I'm like, y'all. And then, like, then they talk about getting a raise. Didn't even pay me, like, manager pay while I was acting manager. So mm. I really feel like I'm unappreciated. So I think 2019, the new job is coming. Mm. I feel it in my spirit and my soul. Thank you, Go Guys, for everything you've done thus far in my life. But uh, it's time to find another way to pay Ooh. these bills. I'm definitely coming with you to work today. Yeah, I'm coming tomorrow. Because I am over it. I will be there tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> but I did get me a new laptop for Christmas. Oh, what kind? I got I got the MacBook Air. Okay. The gold. How much did they run you? 13 that's pretty okay. It's pretty okay. It. And it's gold. Yeah, it's gold. Wow. I didn't need all the bezels and stuff like that. I just need a new <laughs> computer that I can type and do light editing and things like What's that. What's the storage? Uh, The storage, I got the 128. Is that standard? Yeah, it's like standard. Yeah. I don't need any heavy stuff. That's why you get an external hard drive. Yeah, I got And that's why you got that things that like Google it. Docs and... I filled all that shit. I got an iCloud. Got like 30 gigs. I'll be all right. I'll mm-hmm. never understand the way the Apple storage system works. Like, I delete yeah. everything I have. Everything. I, and they always tell me I have a lot of storage, and I don't have sh- Maybe it's my messages, but, like, I don't have a lot of pictures. I don't. All I have is memes, and it's maybe, I think I use maybe 10 memes. Hmm. And then I could low-key delete them because they're in my mes- my keyboard thing, yeah. so. It can't be music because I have Apple Music. I don't ever save anything right. in my library. I don't know what the storage takes up, but it takes up something. Immediately. Yeah. Every time. <clears throat> but, Chris, how was your week? I think I had a great, well, I went here the week before. So I had a great two weeks, I think. And um, I was in freezing ass Michigan. Fucking, uh, this, is, I've been, this is too cold to be here. You look cold. And um, I think I got, well, I'm not sick, but like, because Dream was sick. Mm-hmm. And then I had kissed her before I left. So I think that's how I got sick. Well, I'm not sick, though, but my throat was just hurting. Mm-hmm. And Don't be putting her out there like that. I mean, I, that's that's Don't clearly what it had to be because like I'm out. I wasn't sick, so. But anyway, um, like fell. But yeah, and her and I we had a great time. <laughs> we uh, hung out while we was in Michigan, and um, yeah, we had a great time together. That's good. I hope you guys had a great time together. If I don't fuck, can someone send me a sound effect request for a drink? What do, What do you want? <laughs> I don't know. It's so open, and yeah, I need I, I need, I need flavors. It, we like uh. Because all we really have is, like, freedom, Luther Vandross. <laughs> yeah, we have ratchet stuff. Run. We don't have, like, nothing. We don't have anything. I don't think that that's I don't think that one. No, that, that, would, one, not no, 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 that would not be for No, 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 no. No, that one. No, that, that would not be for No, no, that one can't work. No, no, no. That's how I felt that, just now. That's okay. That's we can use that. that. That's okay for now. Well, I didn't know what that one was going to be when I pressed it. I just... Man. Wow, who put that one on there? Put- and that was a part of her uh, Christmas gift. Chris is showing Eric something on the phone. I know. <laughs> he forgets Real romantic. Chris is really going off for dream. He be posting cute shit on Twitter. I've never. <laughs> I really didn't think this was a thing. I what? Like, like posting shit or shit like that? You being like this. Yeah, I man. want somebody to post something. No. Let me yeah, find. Bro, let, be I careful just how found you out it. that. Through a mutual friend of someone that I lived with, that I was in like a whole ass relationship, relationship, damn near married on Twitter, according to people's tweets. Before we get into that, I feel like I heard you say last week on air that you was with. Oh, you now you about. (laughs) (laughs) What happened, Chris? I feel like 
take your mic off. Take your finger off the listener. Because <laughs> I feel like you're about to spread some lies. I feel like this is what you said last week. Because I was listening to the show. I think you said somebody invited you somewhere that you used to talk to, who was homeless. Okay. Can, it was, can you confirm? Was that what yes, you said? Yeah. Not. Uh, what, what do we call him? The first, the first homeless one. What do we call him? Blonde. Was it? It was the second one. Yes. Why? I don't know. But I definitely didn't hang with them. You did or you did not? Did not. I thought you I said you did. Boss. I was with my boss the whole time. But you were supposed to. Yeah. So y'all do communicate? No, no more. Where did that come from? They just hit me up. Randomly? Yeah. And you were going to go? I went with Brian. But you were going to go? I went with Brian. Answer Breon, my question. Me and Brian <laughs> were already going. This is the shit. So, but you were going to go with this shit. person? No, me and Brian were already going. All right. Because I don't, I don't feel like I'm going to get any answers today. That is the answer. Me and Brian were already going. They hit to me sad up. place? Yeah, to sad place. And it's like, hey, are you going? I said, yeah, me and Brian are going. Got there. I seen them all of probably 10 minutes. We walked around, and my boss texted me. He's like, hey, come to the section. I was like, oh, okay, going to the section. So we went to the section. And I don't know where they went after that. No, they actually texted me and said, it was good seeing you. I'm here at home. So, like, oh, okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> you dumb person to issue. I don't. There's no I more mean, issue okay. to press. Okay. I wish everyone the best in 2018. <laughs> I'm going to it's a vibe all 2019. <laughs> you are and really the vibe that I'm on right now is just positive energy. I don't want nobody new in my circle. Really? I don't all think I, new I don't, year? I don't think I need you, anybody new in my circle. That's not fun. And he's I hope not, you're not talking not about that because this is why I posted that Parker meme. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I was cracking the fuck up when I saw that. This is why I posted that shit because something in my spirit said this bitch has a new whole chronicle, and you not you not telling us every month, every, every week. week, every week, yeah, every week. day, <laughs> honestly. And you not telling us. I don't. I'm really. I'm 2019. I'm really just gonna lay low on love, and I'm just gonna focus on career. Every time you snap tonight's adventure, can you snap the nigga associated with me? <laughs> <laughs> don't be nobody with me. If I'm to on know. tonight's adventure, it's either Chris or it's me by myself. Mm-hmm. Right. Tell me anything. It right. is. Be lying to my face. So yeah, so honorary. Honestly, okay. I'm gonna. Should I try and go off the top of my head with bitch? You better read, or should I just do the vibe I did? Do the vibe you did. Uh, well, no, let me try to think, think of, of if you I'm going to try and think, because so, the ones that pop in my head are going to be memorable. So today is the last show of 2018, so we decided that we want to hit you guys with our top five moments of the year. Um, we ain't that fancy here at the Good News Radio, so we can't give you a playback show. But we wanted to try to go back and just in our minds and think of what our top five things of the year were. So we're going to break down our top five things in every one of your categories from Bitch You Better Read to Chris Tips to Uniquely Speaking to albums and music and all those other things. And um, hopefully Eric can uh, remember his top five Bitch You I remember. Read. I remember like two off the top of my head. If not, so you can go with the list that you already have. All right, cool. One of them is should be in there, but we'll see. So number one Hold was on. the... Oh, yes. Thank you. The last one for 2018, we need it. Yeah. Oh, I re- I reorganized all the stuff, so oh, I forgot. Shit. Here we go. Oh, when the fuck did you do that? Last huh? show. I, oh. I, yeah. I put it like, I'll show you. You ready? Yes. It's time for bitch. You better read. What's my favorite word? Bitch. Amen. All right. The <laughs> first story of 2018 that was most memorable to me was Cardi B and Nicki at the Met Gala. Am I correct? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Pure tackiness, bitch. Absolute tackiness. Because never have I ever thought that I would actually see a rap be feel no music, <laughs> but come to life in the form of an actual physical altercation at the Met Gala. At the Met. at the Met Gala of at all places, Gala. you at know, places. it wasn't like the Source Awards. <laughs> no, it not wasn't the, the BT Awards. <laughs> it wasn't. What's another black event? Uh, the Soul Train NAACP Awards. Soul Train, Awards. NAACP. It was not, at the fucking something, Met Gala. Something very, now, this is what's so interesting, because I didn't think about that. This rap beef has not garnered any No one has music. made a diss track. No, they had, like, subliminals. Little, yeah, little, yeah. But no one's just said, hey, bitch, this is for you. Right, right. <laughs> no one has that. No one put out a hit em up. Nobody put <laughs> not, out a no nobody. Vaseline. No, nobody. They don't want to, I don't think they really want the smoke. At all. Cardi does. Cardi well, wants to smoke, but smoke. Fight, yeah, physical, she wants smoke, physical smoke. But like, if this is about music, then make it like if like ain't no way Picasso gonna come at Da Vinci and be like, "Bitch, your painting suck," and then not paint a <laughs> better painting. No, it's not happening. Right, that's real. So like, do something like drop a diss track. 
2019, let's drop a diss track, Cardi. I'm on your team. I mean, if she does it at this one, it's irrelevant. Yeah, it's like, it, what, you should have been did it. It is very true. Should have been did it. Yeah, it should have been came out. Super irrelevant. Uh, off the top of my head, the second one. I want to say, I don't know if this was big enough, but I remember it. Mm-hmm. Was the whole uh, Kevin Hart. Cheating scandal? No. The Oscar team? Oscar? No, that's a big one too, but I'm thinking uh, Kevin Hart, Tiffany Haddish, and Cat Williams. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, and for some reason, I, I forgot about that. For some reason, I took it that way. I remember it because it was just like, what the fuck is going on here? Because like, Kat is a crackhead. Kat didn't speak that one lie. We, we've always known. I was on Kat's side. I was not on Kat's I mean, side. I think Tiffany has put him to work for years. Just we haven't Kat seen it. Kat did not speak I agree of with, one lie. I agree with we that We don't point. always see people's grind. We just see their rise. I heard, bo- I heard both sides of the argument. I feel like with Kat, it was kind of just like, he's right. I don't know He's any hating. jokes off the top of it. Do you know any jokes off the top of your head? No. I know girls trip. But it's a fact. No, but can you do any of her stand-up jokes? But this is the thing. Tiffany's not saying that she's the best stand-up comedian. Tiffany's not saying I done killed all these stand-ups. Tiffany hasn't said anything, honestly. We don't know that. She Tiffany has not come out and was like, you know what? I'm the best this. I'm the best that. She has not said that. She uh-huh. says this. She's come out. She's worked her ass off to get where she is. And she has. A, and she has. But she both has. but both sides had a point. And I'm saying that Cat Williams' point had some valid yeah, arguments. Very in. valid. And I feel like your point on Tiffany's side is very valid. She never said any of this. So it's just like, why are you so pressed about something I never claimed? Mm-hmm. And if she but, wants to continue to do the Chitlin Circuit comedy tours like Cat Williams does, because he ain't had a movie since when? Two, since motherfucking Friday after next. My nigga just got Ooh. an Emmy for uh, Atlanta. Congratulations. Let's, let's not... Congrat- have an Emmy? Yes, she does. She also got an Emmy that for same what? award. So. For what? Let me... Uh, Saturday Night Live. Guest hosting. She... Yeah, Tiffany she got, Haddish yeah, got, she got, got an Emmy. Wow. What was the category? Like best know. host? Yeah. Or best uh, host of a variety show or something? Let's see. Wow, well, I didn't know. Why that the fuck did she Let me see what Let me Yeah, see what I thought it would it. be like something you host every week. Let me yeah, see what she like, got. Yeah, like she got that? She definitely has an Emmy. Wow. Wow. Because they both had Emmys together. That's not, that's not rightfully. Oh, they did also. both have Emmys sure together. Did. You're right on the I right carpet. I know Kat did, but I, don't, I didn't remember Tiffany getting one. She, they both did. And definitely. I don't see why she got one. If she got it for SNL, I don't get why. Because she wasn't the best host this year. Remind me to go to the dry cleaners. Uh, let me think of a third one while you look for that. It's a fucking igloo in here. It's cold as fuck. No, it is cold as fuck. Damn. Help me out. Fill me in. Because I feel like there were some most recently that I can remember off the top of my head. Like, okay, so one of them that I put in. Oh, go ahead. She won Guest Actress in a Comedy Series for Saturday Night Live. Does it have the, the, the nominees or does it just say that she won? It just says she's won. The nominees were... Uh, Tina Fey, Maya Rudolph, oh. Molly Shannon, Wanda Sykes, and Jane Lynch. All very funny people. All very funny people. <sighs> but damn, she got it off that one episode? Right. That episode yeah. wasn't even that funny. Well, that's also Tina Fey in... Um, who's that? Tina Fey's kind of funny, but Tina not Tina Fey is funny, Tina and Faye she's a great writer. She wrote Mean for... Girls, did she not? Yes, did she? Did. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Tina the principal? Fey. Yes. Well, no, no, she wasn't the principal. She was a teacher. teacher. And she wrote the wrote drug pusher. Mama. She wrote who? Baby Mama. And Mean Girls is Stronger. Baby Mama, Mama with uh, Eddie but, Griffin, Anthony Anderson, and no, 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 no with no, the no, the blonde Daddy. Amy. No, what is yeah, that? Baby uh, Mama. Yeah, Amy. She's really small. They always they always do great stuff together. Yeah, they hosted the like, Emmys like three times together. Yeah, I can't. Baby Mama. It was his show or movie. It was a movie. movie. It's a funny ass Baby movie. Mama. Yeah. I ain't heard but that. Mean Girl was the strong. She one fucking wrote Mean Girls. Yes. Never knew that. Yeah, she's like funny. all by herself. By herself. Wow. She's funny as fuck. She's the goat. I never knew that. But. You know who else is the girl? We'll talk about her later. Sandra Bullock. But let's go. She let's is, go. She okay. Really is. Let's I keep really going. Agree. Let's, uh, let's keep going. But let's go on. Let's um, keep going because uh, she's the fucking goat. At what? Were her every- one Oscar? At what? Stop. Oh, oh, we're talking about at Oscars. what? It's oh, we talking about you know who also got one Oscar? Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. You know who know. doesn't have an Oscar? Will Smith. Wait, okay. I know. So I know. let's not even we're do that. We're gonna talk about this later. We have. A- Categories. Sandra Bullock is a goat. Yes. Oh my god. All is the way she? from all, all because of Bird Box. No, no, no. Ah! We will not. All because of Bird we Box. We will not limit her to Bird Box. Like not. Slim Big No one has said anything no, 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 about no, her no, since no, Bird Box. No, no, no. Bird Box just when came out fuck, this year. When the fuck Bird have y'all ever said anything about Sandra Bullock? Look, I love we, Sandra Bullock. Oh, when she won, when she won her for the blind side, for the blind side, when she was on that motherfucking bus saving people's lives back in you just saw the tweet about that. No, 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 no. Y'all have not been checking for Sandra Bullock. Come on, Miss Congeniality. 
Let's Ali is going. my favorite movie. Let's keep so fucking going. Y'all have not said anything. We will not sit here and talk like Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all will not sit here. Can I say something? Can I say something? Y'all will not sit here and think that y'all been checking for Sandra ever since Bird Box came out. No. We have y'all have not. Been for her since she was motherfucking. When was her last movie people. besides Bird Box? Her last movie for oh the same movie Will Smith was in. Keep going. I mean, uh, Will has a movie every year. So what? I'm asking you, what movie? If she's a goat. What movie was it? Bright. Keep going. Was it? She wasn't in Bright. Exactly. <laughs> Right, Keep going. nigga, you just proved my fucking point. She, ain't, what the goat is she? I she's think, a goat. She's a great actress. I, she is I a great she's actress. A great actress. <sighs> His words is goat. I love Miss Congeniality. It's one of my favorite movies. So I love Sandra Bullock, regardless. Oh but we're not going to say because of Bird Box. Right, we're that's not going to say that's because the of Bird only Box. reason why I bring her. We're right not going to no. say that's because the of Bird Box. That I think Sandra Bullock is great. is great. Just like every time I see Meryl Streep's name, I'm consistently going to say she's just great. She transcends genres. Who? Sandra. She does comedy. She does drama. Really? What comedy? Miss Congeniality was not a comedy. It was funny. As what fuck? else? I'm about to re- listen to credits. So many I'm about movies, to listen so to credits. So you can actually do that. I'm about to do that because Chris is really I, trying. When, when? first he tried it with Tiffany Haddish, now he's talking. She's about, not funny, and we all have said this. Now he's going to try it with motherfucking Sandra. Oh, okay. Oh, so, go goodness. ahead. Number three. Bird Box, Blind, uh, The Blind Side, The Proposal, Oceans Eight, Miss Congeniality, Speed, Gravity. No, stop, Pete, stop, 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 Kelvin, Kelvin. You're supposed to be naming notice. funny movies. You're supposed to name oh, me the funny, funny movies. movies. Okay, Miss Congeniality, The Proposal. Uh, let's see. While you were sleeping, I guarantee you ever seen all of these that you're even about to name. You're just guessing. I I guarantee it. No, I'm not guessing. What That's the fuck was the what was the last one that you just said? What was that about? While you were sleeping, it's a romantic comedy. Okay. You haven't seen the proposal with Ryan. Ryan, Ryan who? Reynolds. Ryan. Oh uh, yeah. Was she yeah, forced so. him to marry her? Yes. I've seen that. Exactly. Love potion number nine. This bitch was in the Prince of Egypt. Let's not. Let's not. Sandra even. Bullock is a worker. She is. She's a great actress. She's a worker. She's not a goat. This bitch from Bird this Box. Like cool. she's not. She's why would you say since... Bird Box? Because that's the only reason why we're talking about her. That's the only reason why we're talking about her. It's just because she's adding to her resume once again. It's not Bird Box. It's no, one, Bird no, 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 no. Okay, when, Chris, when I say, fair. when I no, say, no, 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 no can no, I make, no, let me say my point. Let, can I say my point? No, I can I point, say my point? I have a point to your first point. Okay, but let you're me say mine about, real quick. You're talking about people are not talking about her, only talking about her because of her good movie that she has out right now. People are not talking about Jamie Foxx until the Niggas film. talking about him every year. Stop, stop. Niggas talking about him every year. Stop it. Let me make my point. Go ahead. People were not talking about Jamie Foxx until he did Ray. And then people was like, oh, wow, Ray's a great movie. Kelvin, oh, wow. no, it's not stop. Now it's you gotta stop. Now you gotta stop. It's because it's the most relevant movie at the time. So now you so have right to stop. Now that she makes a great movie does not does not discredit her other stuff because we're excited for her to have this great movie. Yeah. We all clap for Ray because Jamie did great in Ray. Okay. But then he followed up with that stupid ass violinist movie. It's like okay, he can stupid play the crackhead ass, now. The soloist so was now, stupid. Yes, it was stupid. Wow, Eric, you could just go ahead with your stories. Number three, Bill Cosby, very disappointing. Um. Just as disappointed as Jamie. And you know, I'm gonna bunch R. Kelly wow. in there too. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna bunch uh Bill Cosby and R. Kelly in one because No, that's those are those are disappointments. You, these are top news. Stories. I didn't put those in oh, disappointments. Okay, good. I did. Okay. Um but yeah, I'm gonna box them in there. Because I didn't expect R. Kelly to really have bitches hung- like hanging in dungeons. <laughs> I can't wait to see that little special on Lifetime. Yeah, well, Lifetime will take anything at this point. <laughs> Lifetime is just trying to pay January 3rd. That's it. I oh, that's, ne- that's on Wednesday. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Real soon. Yeah. It's real soon. Oh, wait, no. New Year's is on a Tuesday. It's on a Thursday. The, 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 the third oh, is on right, a Thursday. Oh, right, right, Yeah, yeah. Um, so, what do you, What happened? I was just reading the comments. What happened? Please fill me in, because a lot They're just on my side. Here. So, her name is Amy Poehler. Okay, thank you. I knew it was an Amy. Um, Ray told me to speak it. She said that uh, Sandra Bullock is amazing. She is. She, she is. Said, I mean, she uh, is. Ocean's 8. She's, uh, Tierra says she's amazing as fuck. She said proposal is funny as fuck. Uh, she said with her lyrics, Keith is encouraged us to fight. I don't know if he wants that to happen. <laughs> with all his, um, equipment in the room. With all his, yeah, equipment. And Ray said, um, I better say it. People can be on your side, but it's okay. you have not dis- we have not discussed Sandra. <laughs> only, it's only we because not, Bird we have not dis- we have not discussed her for a, a while because she has a, not while. Done a lot of right. movies. She has not done plenty of movies. I know she has it, but when she does one, but th- but y'all but are always say- but y'all are always saying she's great. Because Bird Box just came out. She's, yeah, but she's coming. Is it not the, great? She's coming. No, up she big. is great. She, she is. is. She, she has is. an Academy Award. So how does that take away from her validity of Bird Box? Because no one was speaking about her until Bird Box. Okay, so we had because we had nothing to speak about. Well, first of all, it's only 
we can't count outside people who don't really know shit about movies. So we can't who pe- who people don't even follow movies and yeah. follow shit. We I'm not I'm not talking about them. Yeah. So I'm only talking about people who actually know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah. So you don't come here saying she's a fucking goat. She is a goat. She's not. She is a goat. When it's all said and done, she'll be iconic. Oh wow. I think wow. she's I, she's big be consistent. Her Top whole five. Career. Top five white female actresses. No actresses. Top you five really white better... female actresses. No nigga Top five actresses. White female don't don't let don't don't, don't, Top five white female don't demographic it. Do white female. No, actresses. let's Top not five demographic that's it. So hard. That's Why is it hard? Because there's just so many women. I can name a few actresses better than her. Kerry Washington. No. You and about, I love you scandal. Say I, love scandal. I love scandal. I Carrie love scandal. Kerry Washington is better. I Viola love... Davis is better. Viola, of course. Um, Olivia Spencer is better. Olivia, is... yeah, she's good. Um. Women. women. These are all women of color. So can we get some other? People? I'm thinking of a white one. Meryl uh, Streep. Okay, her. Um, can we get motherfucking um, Anne Hathaway? Oh, mm, I guess. I would have to think of like white people. I would have to think, but wh- why not put her in top five? If she's a goat, she should be. In, she should be able to be in that conversation. Because I know there's five other women better, but she is a goat. Okay. Why does there have to be Why a limit Carrie on Why is Kerry Washington? Why does there have to be a limit on Goat? She's an amazing Carrie actress. Kerry Washington does one face and one face only. I wish I wish this I wish I only we know could her for it. scandal. It's, I mean, she was in she was in something <laughs> else this, as well, but nigga, she, she, has, she good has, has a lot of versatility. She does a good ass scary Does she face. not have a lot of versatility? She has a great Can you some of her face. movies cuz I need to Save the last dance. Oh, she was ghetto as fuck. Ghetto as fuck. She was. Uh I think I love my wife. She played a whole ass slut okay, in that movie. Okay. Um the movie, I think it's called Affirmation where she played uh I cannot Perry remember movie? her name. No, oh, I no, can't remember her name. What's her fucking name? She's like a, a Supreme Court. I cannot remember her name. She played her Scandal. Well, she wasn't the She was in Saturday Night Live the, was funny as hell. The story is about the Supreme Court justice. But who did she play? I can't remember her she name. She played um oh my goodness, Anita Anita Hill? Hall? I think Hill. Anita Hill. We should know these things cuz those was the forefather of the Me Too movement. Yeah. We in America, we really let to have rapists and pedophiles and mm-hmm. things in our Supreme Court justice. And that movie was great. But I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, those are just five different type of roles that she's played. She's very versatile. I still very. think Sandra Bullock is great, and she's been out longer. She has, but she's not like versatile. Nineteen eighty-seven. Damn, her first film. She's not versatile. Wow, she's been doing it since been doing. She's not versatile. I don't think so. As much as Carrie, let's not let's not front R. like R. she Kelly, is. Bill Cosby, R. Kelly and Bill Cosby. Thank you. Oh, okay, I'm just disappointed in R. Kelly for hanging bitches in a dungeon. And <laughs> doesn't Bill- um being our uh the R. Kelly special come on like we January literally just 3rd, talked about this Thursday. Literally, just I was still, you were I was so, still you upset. Were <laughs> I was still yeah, really mad. You were <laughs> really upset. mad. Literally, serious. just said this came on on Thursday. Take it to the head. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I? If y'all out there, I just got a new computer and I need somebody's Spectrum TV account. I'll give you five dollars a month for it. <laughs> <laughs> so if anyway, you wanna, if you DM me or write it in a thing. So with Bill Cosby, I, I think that I didn't expect to see him get locked up. I don't think he saw himself get locked up. Is he blind? Mm-hmm. And I, I saw where you were going with that. Yeah. Uh, straight, my, before you said hell, it. Like. Straight to hell. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be my number three. There's not much to really touch on there. I'm pretty sure we won't be taking them into the new year because everyone wants to cancel R. Kelly. I will not be deleting any music from my catalog. Oh, that nigga I, been muted. You know me. what? I can't listen to any I have, music I like think this. the last... I think the last show I said I have joined the Mute R. Kelly train. Have you? I have. Yeah, I've been muted. His I, I, although I love all his music, if they play it at the R&B only, I probably will maybe do a two-step. I won't. But I honestly will not be playing any of his music anymore because I feel like I was being really hypocritical. You were. Mm. I can't get mad at Harvey Weinstein and all these other people and then not get mad at the black people just because I have connection to them because they're black and that's good i'm glad you realized that because that's hypocritical me on the other hand i just love the music oh, and i'm not getting rid love. of it okay tawanda gonna step step side that's side. it i'm not getting rid of the music i think he's disgusting yeah, i don't think he, i don't though. think he needs to not be put in jail i don't think any of that i know i'm not deleting no fucking music that's all i'm saying and i'm sticking to it uh okay now number four now y'all can y'all can come in with some stuff that really hit y'all because i was about to do a recent one of the wrestling kid who had to shave his dreads off mm-hmm. or else he was gonna get disqualified mm-hmm. because i thought that that was fucking some bullshit. disgusting but mm-hmm. then i had an updated story saying that that referee is no longer allowed to referee in yeah. those dis- in that district mm-hmm. so you shouldn't be able to referee period at all around kids but my anyone. thing is like what 
what did his dreads have to do with anything? And what now, qualified you to make that decision? In wrestling, there are like different rules that you can't like. You're not supposed to have like hair like past your but shoulders. But don't you? And but his pre- shit wasn't even long. And he had his thing, his hair tied up, which is a rule that you can have your hair tied up. And so don't you wear like to, helmet, like the you little wear the helmet things? Yeah. Right? So his hair technically probably wasn't even the way they said he had on a a, a scarf that was pre approved. Um, a scarf? Yeah, like to cover up his dress. Oh. It was pre-approved, but when he got out there, the ref said that he had to make adjustments. He had to cut it or forfeit the, the match. Refs now, have that much power? Like, they could do some I, shit like that? I, I didn't know he was that qualified. Jeez. In wrestling. This is high school. In wrestling. Wow. This, no, this, one, this wasn't even like a UFC it's type not, of thing? That's why I also wouldn't have cut my hair for no match. So like, so I don't, permanent. Like, and then, like, you know how tacky that nigga about to look? If I'm getting a scholarship, I'm getting a scholarship regardless. So this one match is not going to deter me from whatever, and I'm not going to succumb to his racism. Yeah. And I'm not going to have no white little Sally cut my hair because she was fucking that shit up. Fucking it up. Because <laughs> she ain't know what the hell she was doing. Over. Uh-uh. Where's Tawanda with the scissors? <laughs> because you're not about to touch my shit. I don't know what was going on. Yeah. Ooh, Sally Mack. Now, number five, mm, I'm truly drawing a blank. Oh, no, I'm not. King of R&B, because this debate, I feel like, really sparked a lot of good things. I feel like the B2K <laughs> tour kind of got comfortable under this debate. <laughs> <laughs> so I am forever grateful for this conversation. I feel like we got to see a lot of familiar faces come back on the scene. People that we thought were dead. Where was Keith Sweat? Somewhere in the sauna, sweating. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so the fact that this conversation brought so many people back to life, I am really here for it. I feel like... But niggas, was- trying to ke- niggas is trying to blow this tour up, I feel like. All the little stories that keep coming out. Yeah, that, I feel what like they're mean? trying to sabotage it. Like, like so, Moniece somehow, and April and Fizz. Like Fizz is dating Omar- Omarion's baby. Allegedly. Yeah. And then Pleasure P-, Pleasure P just got locked up. I saw well, that. Baby was, Blue well, just wait, got. Uh, were Pretty Ricky gonna? Pretty Ricky. They were there. Court. They were on Baby the. Baby Blue on the just thing. got. He hit somebody in the face or something. Right. I know. Do they know that the tour? Like, do they know they're on the tour? They are out here to sap. This is see, and this is why B Five is gunning for that spot because I don't B5, think no, no one told all them. All they gonna do is crack. <laughs> all they gonna do is crack, but they gonna show up. <laughs> 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 they gonna be there. They'll be coked the fuck out, but they'll be there. B five does crack. They look like they look do. Like they it. look horrible. I don't know yeah. what they do, but they look really crackish. If they could be part Olsen, because <laughs> they look bad. I'm pretty sure uh, Cat Williams is their doctor <laughs> because they are prescribed something strong. I was but, so upset about yeah. that, I, and I thought that so, like I thought Rasby was gonna fuck the whole reunion tour up for everybody. You know what? And we thought it was gonna be Rasby. Meanwhile, I thought he was Fizz. gonna be the Bobby of the, uh, of the whole thing. Fizz and fucking pretty Ricky. But you know who I'm a little disappointed they did not put on this tour? And she just had a whole try to revitalize her career. Where the fuck is Nivea at? Why well, she Nobody wanna put Nivea on the tour. For what? For what? <laughs> for what? On the tour. Um, no, seriously, for I just, what? I just, I'm trying to. I am at this moment in life, I'm just trying to make sure we get everybody on the tour that's going to. Make sure it doesn't get canceled because oh, there's well, a lot true. riding on this tour. There's a lot, and, and Nivea's not problematic. She's not. Why would we, we put me Nivea and on tour? Tiara, She has two songs to contribute two. to this era. Two. <laughs> me and Tiara were talking that about that. Her set to, would be ten minutes. That adds to the flow of the show. Now we got we got two new bops in there that we got. Now we have another artist for you. Let's get. Oh no no no! I don't. I, 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 this message is to Mario. Don't sing no new shit. He's not. He just no. He just had an album come out, and it, yeah, it, he did. the album did pretty well. But I don't want to hear none of none it. None of them better sing anything. I don't want to hear nothing. Oh, Mario has a new album. I don't want to hear it. I don't. Want I, don't it. I was talking to Titi about this last night. We don't want solo sets. That's there, it. It's gonna be a solo set. No. I don't. Oh, want, Mario I don't, is gonna have as a solo much as set. I love Touch and Icebox. And oh, he better do those. I don't. He better do Touch. I don't. He needs to do Touch, Entourage, Icebox. Oh, nope. He needs to do all that. All we don't need. But it wasn't far from that time. It wasn't. His first album came out right when they broke up. Yeah, it was not far from Listen, that time. Why I am you do trying that? to preserve this tour. Touch was his first fucking I don't, single. We don't need. I don't want no egos on B2K this tour. B two K is not doing nothing after this. This is I it. at all. Want, that's <laughs> this it. And this is why, and that's the whole thing. We talked about this last night. Me and TD. This is a once in a lifetime thing. Like we get excited about Jay Z and Beyonce because Beyonce is queen and Jay Z is king. But listen, they're gonna go on tour again. Who? Jay Z and Beyonce. Oh. This is it for B two K. I understand And I that. don't want anybody's ego. Everybody gets a separate tour bus. Everybody gets their own tour bus. There's not enough money in everyone's account. Everybody, they need. I really feel like because we're talking about are they gonna do clubs or do stadiums? I really feel like they need to do stadiums. They can fill out stadiums. Not no, arenas. they can't. Yes, well, they not, can. As well, well, which, like, which stadium? As a collector, out here, name it. Which one? They can do something smaller, like which a smaller one? arena. They can do Staples. 
That's not a small arena. They can do Staples one night. I heard Staples is big. Staples, Staples is big. Staples the one Forum night. is smaller. If you want to say oh, yeah, the Forum, they can do the Forum. They can do the Forum one night. But think about it. You have Summer Pretty Ricky right now. I don't know who else is going to be there. Yang Yang Twins. You have Chingy. You have uh, Bobby Valentino. Bobby really? Trash. Do yeah. Okay. Bobby, go. Bobby's on the trash. trash. We, have, we have Bobby Valentino and his sister friend. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who else? Because who else? Because there's more. It's like B two K. We have B two K. So you have a whole. You have a whole pool of artists from that time. This not about to sell out the form. I'm. I don't know because I don't go to it concerts. Is. and this I'm would about do to run my ass up in there. No, it, this would do. No, the no, 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 no. This no. would do the Microsoft. Center. No, 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 I'll no, no. give it that. I, this this is going to sell out all across the world. This would do the Microsoft Center. That's the biggest arena I would give it. So here here's who here's who's on the tour. Okay, so of course, B two K, uh, Mario, Yin Yang Twins, okay. Lloyd, oh, Pretty Ricky, and Chingy. Oh, that's a shorter list than I thought. Yeah. Mm-mm. Now, how do we feel about there being no females? Now, me personally, I'm okay with that. I I'm always here for the female that's artists. Why, that's but why I was wondering where was Nivea. I think I think they're gonna have like <laughs> the fact that you keep. Throwing. I think they're gonna have like. Um, I feel uh, like they're gonna have openers. Like I don't who? think I don't think I don't think Who's like Chingy. But I'm saying I don't think like Chingy and them are going to be the openers. They're going to be like new people that's opening because Probably. I don't see nobody else. Like I feel like this show is going to be that list. Then everyone that's on that lineup is the show. I yeah, don't think like, nobody I don't, else is doing. The I show. don't think they don't have opening acts. <laughs> I really don't. I don't think they're going to have opening acts. I guess I don't see it. Well, tickets. Well, no, tickets because will be announced. The first one run tour, they didn't have opening acts. Tickets go on the very first one. Sale. Yeah, they did. Who? They didn't. No, they came right out. When are the tickets around? go on sale? Uh, the 4th, Friday. Yep. I think fourth. the tour day is getting us tomorrow. Yeah, they do. I need to be tomorrow. so close to the front. I need to see everyone. Like It'll be general remission. We can get there early. That's all? It's. I don't feel like this is going to be is, like at Chris the Chris is really downplaying or... this. It is. This is going to be an arena tour. And when I they, don't and think when so. They, Chris, as many... I guarantee look, ticket sales are going to be piss poor. No, listen. As many of us that grew up in this era... Ha- can buy festival tickets. It can buy festival tickets aren't that much. Jazzy tickets. Festival tickets aren't that much. They six hundred dollars. Festival tickets, right. which yes. one? Coachella is. Coachella, Rolling Loud, all those those two day festivals like six hundred dollars, six hundred five hundred. Those are worth that. But we're, we're, not, I'm not, we're not gonna. We're no, not Chris, gonna get you're, the production. Chris, Chris, you, you're you're not letting me finish my statement. Go ahead. You're thinking I'm saying these tickets are gonna be five hundred, six hundred dollars. You did that, say no, if no, they no. were that, you would pay I, it. I would, because I'm not. I would, but I'm not saying they're gonna be that. I'm saying if we can afford to buy those tickets, we can afford to buy these seventy five dollars, eighty five dollars tickets. That's, that's how much I think they're gonna, gonna be. be. That, that's yeah. what I'm saying, and that's why we're gonna pack out the Staples Center because it's so cheap and it's so nostalgic, and it's us. It's for us. I want if we will. First of all, we need to see how much it is to even rent the Staples Center to see if they're gonna sell however many seats is in the Staples Center for seventy five dollars. They're gonna sell out. Do you think Diddy has anything to do with this? No, no, he didn't even know. I just, I just read it was uh, Marion Worldwide, so he probably will get a um a cut, definitely, and a solo. He, he probably will get a solo. He's, act. he's definitely gonna get one. He and I'm here oh, for oh, it. I'm, I'm here for it because I need to hear touch. I think I really feel like he's gonna close out the show. I'm okay without uh, uh, no by himself. I no. think so. And then I do think, what? I do think what's gonna happen is no, like Chingy, all of them, they gonna go. Then it's gonna be B2K. Then, like, soon as they said it's over, man, well, Marion going to finish the show. That's no, what no, I no. think. No, no, no. What's going to happen is if he does do a solo set, it's going to be in the middle of the B2K set. I think he's just going to. That's so disrespectful. But that's how Destiny's Y'all used to do it. That's so disrespectful. Like, they would start off as a group, and then Beyonce would do something, and Kelly would do something, Michelle would do something. And then when they went back on the last tour, Beyonce would do something again, and then Kelly would do something and then, because Michelle didn't do nothing else, and then they came back as a group. But B two K B two K doesn't have anything else to do after. Omar. Exactly. This is why, which is why I don't want him to have a soul set because he's I, gonna have a listen. Soul set. I don't want L A to be the last tour stop because they probably all live out here and they never. They're all make from it. out here. Yeah. So that means the last tour stop probably out here because oh, that way they come home. Here. They <laughs> could start here. No, they start I think here. no. It's going to start like in Nebraska. Let's start. Well, that's and point I'm now. probably going to get. <laughs> and I'm going to get my tickets for the Nebraska show. <laughs> Because you Facetime me, let me know that. Because is. I don't think it's gonna make it to the Los Angeles show. You and the fucking cows. Because the Los Angeles show is probably gonna be the last show. No, I think LA is either gonna be in the first like ten or like the last ten. Exactly. We don't have time for their egos for the first. That's what 10. I said. I need the first show. That's what I said. But I can't. I, I can't buy a ticket and then it come like it just ends like the next week. Me and TT also talked about have they been working out. How's, everybody, is still how's everybody's stamina? I don't think they... Well... Because 
we don't we want dance moves. Yeah. I don't want Omarion is gonna get Omarion and Jay Book, those were only well Rasby was Rasby was his name. It's not, right, it's not just about Omarion. Thank you. It's B2K I said Book too. too. It's we the need B2K. all of them. I Fizz was never a dancer. Because when Omarion came, was, with it. Because when Omarion <laughs> came out to R and B only, I was excited to hear Touch O and all this stuff. Did he but dance? A little bit, but not a lot. But as soon as he started doing that new shit, we said, oh, no, no, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is not what we came here for. That's right. Even though we didn't know your ass was coming. <laughs> we, we, it's a welcome surprise, but that we not nah, now. Nah. Pack that shut up yeah, and send it out. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you gotta, he going to start O and then say, no, nah, y'all ain't ready for that and go to a new song. Bitch, we wasn't ready for the new song. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't ask for this. But, yeah, so, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'll, Boog and Omarion were the best dancers to me. Rasby was the best dancer. Fizz has not no. gained any weight. We've seen him all over hip hop. <laughs> so I him. think he should get it together. If he has not been dancing, he could this, never dance. This is the time. He can't rap. Uh, well, this they is need, the time to they practice. They need to be practicing. You've been on Love and Hip Hop doing what? Because Monice has not been loving you. <laughs> Where's the hip hop? <laughs> they need. <laughs> What's going they on? They need to practice. If you're out there right now, where they at? I'm about to. Cause Jay I'm Book, sure they're out here. T-era I'm sure also we can saying, get in contact with them. Yeah. Also, <laughs> hello, I'm T-T. sure we can message them right now. TT, when you come back to LA, you definitely need to be a guest co host. Um, last night, she sent me uh, a snap of Jay Boog looking for extras to be in a video in Corona. Corona? Corona, California? Yeah. Where's Corona? Far as fuck, I think. Yeah, as far as fuck. But, like, <laughs> what, what is you doing? What kind of song is it? He, what he has a doing? song? I hope not because he better not be performing that shit. What on was this was Boog tour. a singer in the group? What was he? He was. Just, I remember he was the him. Wasn't he? No, 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 no. Boog was, was like the, the who was that guy in Drew Hill that did like all the talking. Nico well, was he, that his name? He talked, but he also was a second lead. I don't remember Boog singing shit. He, he sung on Girlfriend. That. I remember. Him and what part? Went back and forth. Back and forth. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't I hear him speak that. until you got served. They did back and forth. <laughs> they did back and forth. I feel like Boog was like the Nico of the group Boog who did all the talking. Look, look. Omarion was first lead. Uh, book was Kelly Rowland. Wait, <laughs> hold on. You eye. remember the song? Uh huh. And then the song? Uh huh. Rasby was fair. The song? Uh huh. Yeah. Bo- that was Boog and that all the Boog. talking, right? That was Boog and all the talking. But then, <laughs> but then he also had solo he parts. Ha- play me a song. He I need to hear. Parts in, I need to hear. He had a solo parts and girlfriend. Let me play. Uh huh. Because this is the only time I ever remember yeah, him on a B2K. song. Yeah, B2K. I love girlfriend. What, what? What? That's my favorite B2K song. I bet you their Apple Music is blowing up. It, it yeah, hell is. yeah. You know it is. Pandemonium is on a 10. B- I'm about to download the album. I ain't listened to the album since. This is all I remember from Boog ever oh, speaking. Oh, uh-huh. Hey, yo, That's Boog, right? That's Boog. That's, he don't sing. That's all he did. He look, was a Nico. Look, I got you. Man. The Flavor Flame. I got everything I want in my life. That's Omarion. That's Omarion. Girlfriend. I'm at this. Fast yeah, forward to that. It's such a bop. That's a Mario. No, listen, Mario. this is this book. Oh, okay. That was book. But no, it wasn't. That is book. It's definitely not a Mario. They went back and forth. They went back and forth in that verse. They went back and forth. In that was verse. that the music video where they both was in the car? <laughs> yeah. No, never mind. Yeah, no, when, they the when, they got, the when the girl got kidnapped. Yeah. When Jennifer from My Wife and Kids got kidnapped. No, I'm thinking about the time where they wow. was in the car and somebody no, was No, what a girl wants. What a girl wants. What a girl name. Okay, so it's not that. Yeah, that, that, that was that one. Okay. Like, come on, man. Get in the car and they driving. It's yeah. Because where was Boog and, uh, I mean, where was Raz and Fizz? They, they, they was <laughs> not <laughs> invited. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was probably, the, wasn't that their last single? I think so. They broke up right after that. Seat precursor. Not a they strong, weren't invited. Not a strong way to do it. <laughs> weren't invited. Not a strong way to do it. Kelly and Beyonce. Fair and. Because if this is about to be anything like Day 26 when Bryant wasn't there, I'm okay. I'm over that, too. Like, I'm out. Y'all don't need to do it. If not, everybody's going to be there, I'm yeah. okay. So. Is it wrong that Bow Wow is not included in this rightfully? No. Rightfully, no. Well, has- it's not the Scream Tour; it's the Millennium Tour. But he does. Okay, look. If I, if he still had a presence at that, but time. congratulations. If, if this is Little Bow Wow, okay. But if you coming over here as Bow Wow, yeah, yeah, no. Shad Moss. But didn't that. we yeah. get? Ba- we started to get Bow Wow at this time. No, no. I think he became Bow Wow like around Doggy Bag, right? Around five no, and six, five and six is when no. He, got he came. Older. He came Bow Wow with around like Chris and my ears. <coughs> and wasn't that was, was that 06? That had to be like 06, 07. Okay, so yeah, that's too late. No, all, all I need is little Bow Wow. I don't need Bow Wow I, on this tour because Bow Wow's like going to fuck it up. That's yeah. Scream Tour. Him Bow Wow's is going to He's going to think he's supposed to close the show. Right. And, and none of my, no one came to see you, Bow. And we don't take him seriously, which is crazy because he actually is 
the legend of all these people. He is. Yeah, he is. But Both still, but man. little Bow Wow, he has little, little Bow Wow is a legend. He has tarnished his legacy, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. being so fucking corny. Yeah. Now is Chris Brown too big for this tour? Yes, definitely. Okay, definitely. They're yeah. gonna go. They're gonna have to do arenas for his ass. Yeah, yeah. That's and he's, he's about closing the show. Himself. And he's closing the show. Trey Songs. He's not needed. No, Trey's not needed. He's, he's not, not needed. needed. That's true. Um, I'm just trying to throw some names in there that are appropriate. Was Trey around during Jaquan? Scream? 2004. Yeah, he was on the Scream tour. Hmm. Who? Jaquan? No. Who did I say Jaquan? Jaquan. Go in there. I said Jaquan. Uh, just for Tipsy. Yeah, for Why? Tipsy. Because of Tipsy. And Hood Hop. And Hood Hop, yeah. You want to open an act, don't you? I don't need Jaquan. You need to open an act, get on there, we, do your two songs, be on your way. We need a Jaquan. We need to find out who's opening this show. And Jaquan is the perfect I, I'd rather just... So Bobby Valentino's rather the opening DJ. this show. That yeah, he a is. Lot of he is. It's going to go Bobby. No, I take that back. Lloyd. No. 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 It's Bobby. Lloyd is bigger than Chingy and um, Bobby. And the clout Bobby has right now is at a zero. It's probably, yeah, it's going to be Bobby. Lloyd just Lloyd, released something. Bobby, Lloyd, Excited. Chingy, Yin Yang Twins, Ooh. Mario. Yin-Yang, no, I think... Go ahead. And then Pretty Ricky... Then B2K. Oh, f- hold up. Let me B- see the lineup I, you again. You know, because uh, hell no. I really don't think B2K needs to go last. Me personally, I don't see me lasting past the Yin Yang Twins. I feel like that's when I make my exit. B2K is going to, is I'm staying because they got a B2K. It's hot. I mean, I want to see it, but I feel like I'd be extremely Ooh. drunk at that point. And I would have chicken head extremely And you know what else already. they need to see? <laughs> Baby, so, that's the that's reason it. why I love you. Well, I mean, this may be the lineup right here. How it is on the thing. How's the lineup? It may be Chingy, Yin Yang Twins, Bobby Valentino, Lloyd, Pretty Ricky, Mario, the B2K. Good. I'm here for it. I'm so <clears throat> happy to be because, a part of this. Yeah, because B2K can't follow Pretty Ricky. Really? Yeah, they, they can follow Mario. Yes, they, they can. can follow Mario. B2K can follow Mario. No, we can't do two groups back to back. Well, I don't think Pretty Ricky should be last. Have we seen no, them? No, Pretty Ricky's not going to be last. Oh. But they're going to go before Mario. Because Pretty Ricky looks Mario going to be right before um, B2K. Spectacular don't look so spectacular. <laughs> baby oh, Blue spectacular. Does look, like look spectacular. Baby. No, oh, spectacular only one that's held up. No, he doesn't. And he, he going looks, to uh, Harvard Business? He looks like fucking Predator. He going to Harvard Business. <laughs> okay, that's great. He looks like Predator. Let me see Spectacular. Why are you lying? I watch Love & Hip Hop. He on that too? He was not on Love & Hip Hop. He was on Love & Hip Hop Miami. For like, Why are all these niggas on And he's still on it. He's on it as a character. <clears throat> spectacular looks small as spectacular. fuck. Spectacular. Mm-hmm. Not the mm-hmm. online. Sexy not on spec- the hotline. Look yeah, at him. Y'all can Look go at him for Snack! Do the picture now. This is now. This is him on Forbes this year. I'm sorry. I'm just... Mm. And he got money. Um, no. It's a hard pass. Anyways, one. moving on for Chris. Yeah, please. Oh, well, that was all for bitch. You better read. One last time for 2018. What's my favorite word? Yes. It'll never change. <laughs> all right. This is to Chris Tips or Topics or whichever. Yeah. You, whichever you want to play. <laughs> okay, so my favorite is the gum gun. It's a hog. It's a hog. We'll let's try it again. It's a hog. Oh, child. Oh, are you ready this time? I've been because ready. you weren't ready I've that time. Ready. <laughs> so my number one favorite <laughs> my, for number one. This isn't in, in, in any order. This is how I wrote it. But uh, the first one is how to slide in the DMs, because I feel like that went very, it was very informative, I feel like. Absolutely. I did. What was your favorite tip from that? I think it was the, when you, uh, I'll probably say when you, like, like the initial slide, like the initial first message that you sent. Because mm-hmm. that's when you need to put everything, you just need to say everything. And that, well, not everything, but it needs to be a summary of what you're here for. Mm-hmm. Of why you're in the message. I got a new uh, DM slot, and what is it? You send like uh, like the. You're not supposed to send no emojis. That's nothing. I know you definitely send like a football, like a basketball, and like oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> my ball rolled into your DMs. Uh, how are you? <laughs> Y'all don't like it. <laughs> Y'all didn't like it. No. no. Y'all wouldn't respond no. to that. No. If someone did, I wouldn't that, know how. I'm about to send it to you right now. So you'd be like, oh, this is not cute. I actually would not know how. I the thought- second one yeah, <laughs> is uh, how to save money. Um, okay, what was the best tip? Can you give us your best tip from these? I don't. I didn't think of that. I didn't go that far. No, into you it. just. I okay. just remembered what they were. Um, the third one is Valentine's Day is for men too. Um, I don't remember. I think this is when I very. 
I don't even think this was from 2018. Remember when you asked us, Eric, I think it was like, if the love of your life was at, at the door and if they said, let's get married, what would you say? Or something like that? Mm-hmm. Was that this year? I remember. Yeah. It was this year? It was. Okay. Um, And then the last one was how to host Thanksgiving. Because I feel like it's a lot of motherfuckers who just don't even know how to host Thanksgiving. Yeah, a lot of us don't know how to do it. Because a lot of us don't know how to make the shit that we eat for Thanksgiving. And why did Kelvin just send me a DM with a dot, dot, dot basketball? <laughs> I don't know how to respond to this. My, my bad. My ball fell into your DM. How's your day going? <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> and the cute, you were like, oh, that's so cute. That's I'm so confused, stupid. but it is adorable. I don't know how to respond. Now, if you so. sent a gif of, like, a shot or something, of, like, somebody saying, hey, and then it went into the rim, that's okay, I guess. But rolling an emoji? No, you're not supposed to send emojis in the in the first DM. Yeah, you could have did the gif of the ball going in and be like, you know what I'm doing. Because a lot of people, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or that. Because if you, if you send somebody an emoji, some people just send one back, and that'd be it. No, yeah. I sent the message after it. But no, but you send the whole sentence. I'm talking about like if you just sent an emoji. Oh, no, 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 no. Cause you ain't gonna get nowhere like that. I don't know. Did you finish? <laughs> yeah, I didn't send my tips from him. I didn't. I didn't do all that. Um, my favorite Chris tip from this year had to be the art of DM sliding, uh, because I did not never knew how to. Clearly, after this exchange, I still don't know how to. You, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Because <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I think it's cute. Someone's gonna appreciate it one day. Uh, no, and also uh, I enjoyed the uh, the tip about dating. Yeah, well, didn't you do how Which to one? first date? This oh year? yeah, 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 that was mine. Mm-hmm. I remember that. I think I had a lot of gems this year. She did. Yeah, you gave us stuff to note and to live by. Yeah. Also, them them posting those you be posting on Instagram. I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical Which of you. Oh, the life hacks. Yes, I should have bought another one. But you I didn't, didn't buy know. one for 2019? Well, my boss bought me that, the 2018 one. Well, you need to hurry up and um, Amazon Express ship. What are we going to do all year? <laughs> right. <laughs> y'all niggas better buy your own. No, 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 I'm no, no. You started this thing. Yeah, that's actually, I did? That's so actually I, Just like thing. I started Uniquely Speaking, Yeah. and I have to follow up, you started this Life Hacks. Yeah, you actually do that consistently. Oh. I don't know. Cause so, like, I remember one YouTube. time I forgot to do one, and like some people did mess me like, what the, like, where's the Life Hacks? <laughs> yeah. like, Nigga, my bad. Hold on. <laughs> <Yeah>. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people. Well, I have to it. find it. If it's at Ralph's or something, we'll see. Ralph's. Why Ralph's? I mean, that's where my boss got hurt, the last one from Ralph's. Hmm. What well, are you going today? Yeah, I do need to go to the store. You don't have well, time. while you're there at the store. Do I need to send a reminder text? If I see one and it is feasible, I will buy it. Mm-hmm. If it's feasible, it's some posts and notes. <laughs> if it's if it's in my budget. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. We had our categories. How to host a Thanksgiving question of the day. Yo, no, yo, what's the question of the day? The question. Oh, we didn't do question day. The question of the day has been respond has been replaced with our top fives. So as we said today, we still doing question. What? We couldn't. <laughs> Did do you que- consciously plan that? Yeah, bitch. As, as long as it's not left out. <laughs> yes, last bitch. Minute, and you lying to my face for the no, sake of no, no, ho. Okay, that's I, fine. Because we would have put like five questions of the day, and then we would have spent the whole time. No, that's fine. So, instead of doing question today, we're going to do top five things because of 2018 because 18 was just way too long. All right. So, let's start off with our top five albums of the year. Eric, since you wanted to put that first, do you want to go first? Yeah, well, I just, yeah, I just added mine at the top of everything. So, number one. Because you think you so dope. <laughs> Hold on. It was we convenient. Need, we need something for that. What kind of sound effect? What are you I don't know. I was for? trying to find a sound effect. Uh, you can play anything. Yeah, you actually can. Here we go. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, that was kind of sad for the moment. Um, <laughs> so number one is Invasion of Privacy for albums. I think that this was a great year for Cardi B. That album was not very skippable. So that gets it gets a solid like eight point five for listenable me. for me. I enjoyed it because I had such low expectations for Cardi. <laughs> I had such low expectations for Cardi this year that that album truly impressed me. I did not expect to get my life as much as I did. She didn't even write it. Hey. Okay. Great. Exactly. <laughs> like she didn't even write it. Production value was great. It is what it was. I I enjoyed it. Number two is Hive Mind from the Internet. I got my life. Uh, you know they on tour. Huh? They were on tour. I would love to hear last mind. week. What? Oh, I thought it was coming up. <laughs> they were just. I wish I knew you liked them. I, I thought it was coming tickets. up. Oh Somebody my god! Asked me that one ago. They Damn, had I really Internet, it's so good. Um, 
Number three, the Carter. Give I'm me that very number. surprised. You five. Thank you. I'm very surprised you put that in there because I mean he Little Wayne is extremely talented. I don't like male rap typically. Not most male rap, but older older male rappers, yes. Lil Wayne is always talented, and this was well needed. Mm. Not very skippable. I only like two songs on there. Really? I enjoyed it. Uproar and um, some song he got with Snoop. Yes, very good. Uh, some broke nigga. Um, <laughs> number four. Shockingly enough, this just made this list so, so recently. Um, I used to know her because I was not listening to her up until like three months ago. <laughs> so the fact that she's so good at what she does and so versatile is just like I gotta get props where it's due. And number five, I'm gonna give to Ella. Uh, why? How did she get number five? Because once again, I wasn't paying her any attention. And then when I did listen, I was not repulsed. I actually enjoyed it because I didn't get a lot of 2018 music that I was just like going ham for. Mm-hmm. So for her to come out with this project and it was to impress me, I was just like, I'm gonna put it on the list. She really worked hard this year. She really worked hard. I, she did. Uh, okay. All right. So now it's my time for my top five albums of 2018. The first one is I Used to Know Her Part 2. Um, I know that a lot of people weren't a fan of Part 2 because it was a little more mellow, a little more like acoustic guitar and a little bit more deeper than the other ones, more than sex and stuff. But I really honestly fell in love with her even more. Her is who. Who's his, I want to say her, I mean her, uh, even more <laughs> with this album because it showed her musicianship and it showed like she is a real artist and her versatility. So I really appreciated that. Uh, my number two album is Keep That Same Energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, that's what that's the one? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I think it was one of the most slept Tiana on. Tiana Taylor? Yeah, Tiana yeah. Taylor. I think it was one of the most slept on R&B albums of the year. That was a pretty good one. I oh. think even though like all the drama surrounding it and the release and her saying that she didn't like it and all this other stuff, it was a quality album. It was very short, but it gave you Super enough that short. you needed to listen to it again. The replay value is really good on that. Um, number three, I by Lucky Day. There's only five songs on there. And they're but all amazing. It is an amazing um, capture of what R&B music should sound and feel like in 2018. I think it's futuristic, but it still has great melodies. It still has great content and it is really good if you have not heard lucky day please go listen to it uh my number five four is dirty computer by janelle monet album of the year nominated and i can't wait for her to she's not gonna take a hold my i can't wait to see her and walk in this and that this is a great album janelle monet is real deserving she's been putting in work for years and number five of course pj morton gumbo live isn't gumbo oh gumbo came out in 2006 17 but the live version came out this year and it is now nominated once again for best r&b album mm-hmm. and also first begin is also nominated for best r&b traditional song the live version so i'm really excited about that and i'm really happy for pj morton those are my top five albums of the year so for my- on, let me clap for myself that was good i wanted to put dirty computer down but i it, i still haven't listened to the whole thing i still have not and i feel like it's i'm gonna so like it but genres. i'm just like I've heard like three songs pushed on me by friends, and mm-hmm. I was just like, I'm gonna get to it. I haven't sat down. I felt like it would have been on there if I listened to it in a timely fashion, but I didn't. Yeah, it's dope. For my picks, I have honorable mentions in mind, just we to see. let y'all know, because it was some shit where I just couldn't, I couldn't narrow it down to five. So my first, I don't album, know why that. I, I thought that was something else. My bad. <laughs> my first album is Scorpion by the legendary Drake. Um, I don't have reasons on why. The way that you say legendary really irks me, but I understand. Is Drake not a legend? Drake is a legend. In my eyes, I wouldn't say he is, but I get why a lot of people say it. <laughs> when it's all said and done, Drake will be top, when it's top all, two when and it's, it's not even two. it's all said and done, but it's not said and done. And that's why I'm not saying it right okay. now. Okay. In due time, I'll give it to him. But right now, y'all are really rushing the process. <laughs> Number two is East Atlanta Love Letter by Slack. Well, Black, but I call him Slack. Number three is Man of the Woods by Justin Timberlake. Uh, number four is... <gasps> Why are we booing just? Why Justin are we booing? What are we? Four? What oh, did that go to? That was definitely yes. Justin Timberlake because yes. he likes Shawn Mendes. Why are you booing Justin? We'll get to it in the in the end of the year review. Oh yeah, he did put him as a disappointment. Did he? Yes. Keep going. What's with your wrong? Album. I'm keep, so lost. Keep, what? Gonna keep going with your albums. Keep wow. going with your albums. Keep are you fucking going. serious? Yes. Okay. Is is. Number four is self-titled Shawn Mendes. Um, the album was amazing. Uh, and number five. Even though her ass is racist, I put No Rain, No Flowers by Sabrina Claudio. 
She's so good, but yeah, but still not problematic. Yeah. So my honorable mentions are "I" by Lucky Day and Volume One by Pink Sweets. <laughs> Pink Sweat. Oh, sorry, Sweat. Yeah, I, I just started listening to Get It. So. Yeah, he's dope as shit. He is honestly really good. Yeah. And you know who he looks like? I've never like only only thing I've seen is is his uh, cover. He looks art. just like Troy. Okay. <laughs> he looks just like Troy. <laughs> okay. He looks just like Troy. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, so those are our top five albums of 2018. I want to know what you have to say about your top five albums. Go ahead and give us a call at 323-900-0478 or get in the message box or text us or whatever you want to do. So now let's get into our top five songs of 2018. Okay, so my first one was Delight by Jeremiah because it was such a bop, such a feel-good song. And it actually cra- uh, cracked my top 25 on Apple Music. And that is saying something because it really doesn't <laughs> shift. It really doesn't shift. So shout outs to DJ Dash for that one. You put me on at the Good News Pool Party. I appreciate it. Um, number two, I like that by Janelle Monet, which is why I know that I would love Dirty Computer. I just need to give myself time to listen to it. Number three, Anna Wintour by Azalea Bank. And I know yeah. a lot of people do not like this. but Can it was- you play it? I just want to hear how it goes. It's a great house song. <laughs> I've never heard of the Zayn Bay song ever. And that's for her and her witchcraft. This is Zayn Bay. Yep, it's one of her many sounds. She's very versatile. Zayn Bay. This the song. This Anna Wintour. I'm so shocked that that she's rapping. She's rapping. She does she sing yet. too or she just raps? She just she raps. Both. She does both. And she talks about how Tiana Taylor stole her dance moves. <laughs> now, now that's laughable. She, that's she fucking did. laughable. Well, we got to pay for When does she come in? Like, when does she come in? Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, hold on. Ooh. What did she say? That's not her singing. Oh, who is this? That's her. That's not her. It's her. Don't ask me what she's saying. That is not her. <laughs> that is not her singing. <laughs> it's her. Shut the fuck up. That is not, a zero. not her. She can sing. Okay. I'm going to send you some songs for you to listen to. <laughs> okay. She's very versatile, and people sleep on her because she's so fucking crazy. But, yes, Anna Wintour, for As I Am by her, because... Uh, Lord knows I love a 90s sample And you picked doing it well Really? I didn't even catch that Yeah, as wow. I am I Don't never, never catch it Yep And number five, Up For By Lil Wayne Because I almost broke my fucking shoulders And I had scoliosis Yeah So that means something Yeah Yeah, yeah. Alright, so my top five songs of the year Are Number one Touch the Floor By Van Jess That's a really and good Masego. song I love that song. It automatically gets me up and hits me to a two-step. Um, number two is really hard for me because I had to pick a hard, a hard song. <laughs> this hard place by her. But it's, I'm trying to pick a her song that just really spoke to me. I love that freaking song. It it's gets me one. in my feelings. So that too. Uh, number three, Little More Time by Lucky Day and uh, Victoria Monet. I love them. I thought it was Monet. It's, I thought it was Monet. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh no, no it is Monet. Well, no, it is should it be Monet. It should be Monet, uh, but Monet. it's written like Monet. Yeah, mm-hmm. child, mm. But a little more time. <clears throat> That's my shit. Life's a bitch by um. Oh, fuck. I was wondering why y'all didn't put artist names to help you. Because I usually know it I, by I, heart. I figured I was gonna remember mine. Yeah, that's what I said too. I figured I was gonna remember mine too. But then here we go. Radiant Children. Whew, whew. Who the fuck are they? I never heard of them. Yeah, they white. Get, yeah, they're white. You gotta get into it. But Life's a Bitch is one of my favorite songs. And then Gonna Love Me by Tiana Taylor. Probably one of the best R and B songs to come out this year. She did give a good vibe and a great video. She's so cute. Yeah, She's so unique. Song. Those are my top five. And let me. Should I just play a little bit of my top song? Yeah, because I just ran. Which one? Here. Gonna love. Which one is this? That's this is Touch, touch the, floor. the Floor. Who's this by? Van Jess, featuring Masega. Are they white? No, no. they're black. They're oh. twins. Oh, that's them? Yeah. Have you ever heard of Masego? I have a song Masego, by him that I think you'll like for Masego's Damn. album is actually... Are they with, women? No, that those are guy. women, but Masego is a man. He did have a good album come out, too. 
I'm gonna send the song. I feel like you'll like it for Dream. I'm gonna send the whole thing. <laughs> and I need you to tell me if I'm right. I'm gonna send okay. the whole thing. What's it about? It's, uh, it's you called, can make that the soundbite. Huh? You can make something on there the soundbite. It's such a good song too. I'd probably make it too long. What's it Black, about? Black it's Love is on lady. my um. Who? It's called Lady Lady. Oh, Lady Lady. Lady is Lady. Good. Yeah. But what's it about? Yeah, lady Lady is really like, good. A lady. You I like. just sent you the oh, whole okay. thing. And Black Love is also on my um 10 10 20 20 playlist. Mm. But those are my top five songs of 2000 and. 18. Why'd you believe <laughs> My picks <laughs> are On the Way by Khaled, Ty Dolla Sign, and Slack. Uh, I feel like I listen. Slack is his name. His name is Black. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I said Slack. I'm I know. Like, yeah, I'm like, huh? So what did you? What are I you said his about? name is Black. You did not. No, you just you said, said Slack. Slack. You said what he typically says. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <you laughs> anyway, so me. yeah, these songs are like <laughs> shit that I just listened to. You, you like you know when you just love a song you can hear it like ten times in a row. Mm-hmm. All these songs I just I couldn't take them off repeat. Uh, number two is Beauty and Essex by uh, Free Nationals featuring Daniel Caesar. Uh, number three is Fate by her. Um, number four is The Summer Pack by uh, Childish Gambino. Those are two songs, but I couldn't pick the side besides the two. Number five is Soulmate by Justin Timberlake. And um, my honorable mentions are If You Leave Me Now by Charlie Puth and Boys to Men. Little More by Lucky Day, This Is America by Childish Gambino, Uproar by Lil Wayne, and These Arms by Luke James. Oh, last one, New Love from Victoria Monet. Those are my favorite songs this year. A lot of R&B and stuff in our song list this year. Not a lot of hip-hop. Not a lot of, I mean. It wasn't a great year for hip-hop in yeah, my it wasn't. mind. I'm pretty over I mean, Drake did well, but. Power Slide was good. Power Glide by Ray Shimmer. Not a fan. Don't care for them. Not I like Ray Shimmer. I like Sway Lee. I'm good. Uh, I like Sway. Um, okay, so of course for my movie list. <laughs> well, I was cracking the fuck up when I read this. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't have time to lie about my lack of movie knowledge. It's already been exposed on this show episode after episode after episode. <laughs> um, but my I movie picks, <laughs> and there were only two, and that is Black Panther and Bird Box. I wanted to put another movie on that I watched yesterday, <laughs> but that is not even from so 2018 So, in a 2016. whole 365 days. You saw two movies. I don't watch movies. I don't care to watch movies. <laughs> I don't care to watch movies. Okay. Like at I, least Black Panther was in it though. Black Panther was in it. Like I'm, I'm, happy I'm, I'm glad you saw. I'm glad you saw. I'm that. happy went for the culture. like. I saw Love Simon. I don't. I'm. I don't even yeah, remember. That was all right. Yeah, I didn't it was see all right. it. And then that's why I didn't put it up there. It was just like it was just another movie I saw. It was cute. I only wanted to see it because they had uh, Love Lies in the soundtrack. That's what made me want to see it. Oh, I didn't even see it because of that. I just listened to the song. Yeah, it was all right though. Well, so, at least you're honest. I mean, I, I'm not gonna sit up here and lie. So since we all saw Bird Box, what do we think about Bird Box before we continue? I enjoyed it. I thought Bird Box was actually a really good movie. And what made it really good is that it actually could happen. Like the the thought that these things could happen. Mm-hmm. Then the blue light popped up in New York the next day. Yeah. I was like scare people. Like for me, when because when people were saying all these reviews on it, I was just I was expecting like an Academy Award movie. Like, I thought this shit, because I didn't know shit about it. Like, okay. people were just saying, like, go see Bird Box. And I just thought it was about to be some amazing ass shit. But when I saw it, I was like, this is all right. It wasn't all that. But, it was, it, like, the concept was dope. Mm-hmm. That was cool. But, like, I was expecting some Academy Awards. I also shit. think that it's so refreshing right now because there's so many remakes and so many movies. The creativity like behind it was great. Yeah. It was something original, something that this generation could talk about as our horror film. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what mm. made it, I think that's what it made it really it's, cool. It's like, like a I think, thriller. I yeah, wouldn't I, say horror. Yeah, well, yeah, like a thriller a, film. It's I'm a, saying like, it's a uh, it's suspense. suspense. It's a suspense thriller. But like, when we go back and look over the last couple of years, there's nothing that this, that's brand new. Like, we have remakes. So I think when we look back at it, like, this is something that was new to us. Yeah. But it was some shit I didn't get. Like, oh, we still don't racist. know what the fuck, what was the creature? Like what was it? It wasn't just the winds. Like what? What were we looking at that made them that crazy? We still don't know. I just thought it was an energy from the sky. Yeah. And then I thought the best thing was like the blind research thing. How that was like the safe haven or whatever. That was dope. Mm-hmm. Cause like blind people can't see. So. But yeah, I didn't get a. It was just some shit. I'm like, huh? Like then drive. Can't you can't drive blind? There's no way you can stay on a straight ass road blind as shit. Can't see shit. Well, it's it's not sensors. possible. It's not possible. The All them fucking cars and dead bodies out there. They and you the saw sensor. when he swerved and hit the, didn't hit the car. I ain't see that. He had his sensor. No, nah, bullshit. <laughs> okay, my top five movies <laughs> of the year. Of course, 
Coming in number one, Black Panther. Wakanda forever and ever and ever and ever ever. It's two is Bird Box because it's a great movie. Three, Incredibles because we waited so freaking long for this and they did not disappoint. Shout out to everybody in the Incredible Crew. Four, the latest, the last movie I went to go see. No, actually, let's, let's, let's see. It was I thought this was really good. Spot. Spider-Man Into the Spidey That shit was so dope. It was so good. it dope as good. It was so good. And I thought like I was going to be like, uh, I don't know. But I went in very apprehensive. But when I watched it, I said, this movie is a great-ass movie. Remember when you saw me playing Spider-Man and you was like, is that Black Spider-Man? Yeah. You know what's about him? Yeah. Miles. Yeah. Yeah. I was so excited about that. So Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse is not just a kid's cartoon. It's a great movie. You really should watch it. Dream it's, said it was trash. There's a lot of black people in it, too. It's not a lot. It's like... And of course, a black person black. died in the movie. Yeah, but hey, he had to have a story. He's a black man. Mm. In the game, his dad dies. Yeah, well, he didn't want his dad to die. Let's not give away the story for Eric. That's a game. I ain't gonna watch it. Okay. But <laughs> Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse is a great movie. Go see that. It's a cartoon, but you won't be disappointed. And then last, uh, The Black Klansman, which is going to win an Oscar this year. For what? For what category? It's going to be nominated for Best Picture. It's not going to oh. win, though. Yeah, it's not. For my films, uh, this isn't in any order. Widows, which I feel like that needs yeah. several, several Shout categories. Shout out to Viola Davis. And What's that Cooley. one about? Basically, it's about these widows. Their husbands, their husbands die because they're like, um, what are they? Are they thieves? Did they steal? I think they stole shit, or they like robbed banks or something. And um, one Viola Davis' husband, I think his name is Leon Nelson, who was in Taken. Um, he like faked his own death and uh, left her like a book of like how to. Because he he had another mission to do that was worth five million dollars, and he left the book for her so she can go get the money for him. Mm. And at the end of the movie, this nigga was not dead. He came and saw her and was like, and she ended up getting the five million. And he was like, all right, like I need that money. Like really, it's for me. And she ended up killing his ass because he was a crook and he was just. It's it, you got it's a great ass movie. Daniel yeah. Kaluuya is in it. Um, the nigga from Atlanta that plays uh, what's the rapper Paperboy? He was in it. Um, mm. Colin Farrell was in it. It was it was an amazing ass movie. And number two is A Quiet Place, which is the movie about sign language, basically. Okay. Number three is Black Panther. Number four, I just saw this over Christmas break. I mean Christmas break. Christmas over Christmas. The Hate You Give. Have y'all seen that? Mm-mm. That movie is so it. fucking good. It made me cry like three times. Shit was so fucking good. Uh, number five is The Incredibles. My honorable mentions are is a star a star is born and this new Netflix movie I just came across. I have not seen a star is born, but it's going to win out uh Oscar. movie of the year. It's going to be best picture and Gaga's going to win best actress and she's going to be one award away from her. From her, you got yeah. But and my um, last one was I Bandersnatch. See it though. Be- oh, Chris had me watching Bandersnatch last. night. Have you heard night. of Bandersnatch? Mm-mm. So do you have Netflix? Yes. W- please watch that. <laughs> please watch it. So how the movie is? Oh, so f- you remember when I was high <laughs> mm-hmm. and I told you about the ultimate reality? Mm-hmm. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so how the movie is so the concept is just um the concept blew me away. So it's like you can't fast forward, you can't rewind, you can't like Do you remember any those of that. goosebumps pick your fake books? Yeah. That's how Imagine that is. in a movie form. Hmm. So you had so the the, the dude that you're watching, you pick his life decisions. Like you pick what he's gonna eat for breakfast, what he if he's gonna take a job or not, if he's gonna do drugs or not. Like you're mm. you're the you're the captain of his fate, basically. And you can make him kill himself. You can make him kill his dad. You can make him do so much shit. And it's so many different twists. Like when Kelvin watched it, his was only like forty five minutes. But when I watched it, my, my shit took like two hours. Because mm, your choices, yeah, yeah. Because I won the first time. He technically won in like ten minutes. Because the the point of the movie is like to get a five out of five. Because he's a game he's a game uh, programmer. Mm-hmm. So you had to get a five out of five out of your reviews, and that shit took me like two hours because I kept making different type of decisions. Mm. But his only took like ten minutes, basically. Because I make the right choices. Bandersnatch. But when I tell you, I was so creeped out. I kept looking over my shoulder. Like, I was so creeped. Because when I got high for the first time, mm-hmm. I was... No, the but who, time. whoever, but like, wrote that, whoever thought of, like, to make it a game, whoever thought of, like, to do the pick and tr- like, that's... Sh- so creepy. Bandersnatch. Yeah. Okay. That shit was... I want out. a full review. A okay. book report. A hundred pages. <laughs> I ain't writing shit. <laughs> Those are my movies of the year. Okay. So we're moving on to TV shows? Yes, mm-hmm. let's move on to our top five TV shows. <laughs> so for me, number one was Insecure. Yeah. Issa Rae did a great job. Uh, season three was a little job. I Until mean, Lawrence got back on it. That's when the show picked up. But it's that's also not art depicting life, and I feel like life can't always be on tilt, because mm-hmm. that's not always how life is. 
and that is the great thing about Insecure. It keeps consistent to the human life. Yeah. Um, because if not, it would be Love and Hip Hop. Number two, RuPaul's Drag Race, because that is my favorite show on TV, and they are some of the most talented performers on television that get underlooked because they're gay, female impersonators. But if anyone watched this, you would have to give it up to the level of talent that they exhibit every episode. Um, number three is Star. Dream loves that fucking show. I think Star is really good. I think the storyline is becoming a bit diluted, but in terms of As keeping it up, all of Lee Daniels' movies, yeah. and, and every time I watch it, it's like, oh, what the fuck? Like it's it's yeah. very that, but I mean, I mean, it makes sense because it's at the end. It just it seems like it's on its way out. You can only keep a story up for so long without it being like when a show is that dramatic. You can only keep it up for so long, and they show that Empire job. is still on. After five by seasons, the grace yeah, I don't of know how. Who watches Empire? I don't watch Empire. I, I stopped anymore. after the first, the second season. Midway me. second season. That's when I stopped. I stopped after like season three. When Taraji P. Henson slapped Jamal, that's mm-hmm. when I stopped watching. I think that was season two. Well, damn, that was first season. <laughs> Whenever that was, when what? she slapped him. What time did she slap? I think it was because he went, He was in control of Empire. Oh, like, okay, he was in okay. control at the time, mm-hmm. and um, Hakeem was mad, and Dre was mad, and. But they were always mad. That was the storyline. It was just levels of like how everybody was always mad. What? Levels yeah. of yeah. anger. Right. That's all it was. Uh, number four hit the floor. I may be a little biased hmm. because I interviewed them before the season started. But I feel like from the switch to VH1 to BET, they did a pretty good job. Tiana Taylor did a great job on the show. She was believable. Um, I like where they took it. Sadly, they won't be coming back for another, another season, but... I got what I need. BT can it. never keep a show. They can't. They it's they took it on. Shame. They took it on, but they do two seasons at max. That's all. Mm, mm. My mom said, "Miss my blessing." <laughs> number five, Real Housewives of Atlanta, and that was literally just to have a number five because <laughs> this season was <laughs> fucking pitiful. <laughs> that's it. Well, and that's it. Um, my top five shows of 2018 won The Four. I love The Four. I got the pleasure of working The Four this year, and let me tell you. The past two winners should not have been the past two winners. Uh, Evie is amazing. No, she's Evie not. is the and, young girl, right? Yeah, and James Her is amazing. Ass. James so is country. dope, but James he James is so won. dope. James she should have won. She shouldn't have won. Who she should have. Who should have won? won? I, Vincent? I can't remember. Se- Vincent should have fucking won. He was season one. Yeah, with he should have won. Yep, that nigga was dope he as died. fuck. But uh, I think James definitely or the big guy. Um, real real big. No, guy. no, Y'all he was dope. Shariah no, he was won? not. No, Shariah who was that? Sharia J. Jay? No, I, I'm mad she made it to the end. No one's gonna yeah. buy her music. It I love Sharia. She was terrible. It was her story. Her story. Yeah, that was it. I enjoyed her music from when she was working with Missy. Um, I don't think. I mean. She was kind of out of her league in a singing competition. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't a singing competition, though. I guess it wasn't. not. But the rappers that, that challenged her were actually better than her. Mm-hmm. This, that white boy, he was killing Being her. there ass. watching these live shows from week to week, mm-hmm. James' voice was amazing. He, it is, but he, he shouldn't have won. He definitely should have won. Mm-hmm. Like, from the first time I seen him perform, I said, oh, he's going to win this. Mm-hmm. But that was one of my won. favorite shows. Uh, Fergie's ass. I can't. Um, <laughs> walk your path. Walk your path with pride. Um, <laughs> um, number two, insecure. Uh, I think even though Chris did not really feel, because you know he's Lawrence Hive all day. I'm also Team Daniel because Yolan is you my ain't friend. Seen Yolan, since, Yolan is my friend. One. Yolan is my friend in real life. You don't know I have his, We don't email each other. I don't know what you niggas do. You don't know. And that. you're so happy about it because you probably like him. Yeah. Continue, <laughs> please. Continue, please. Dark chocolate is good for you. Um, but Insecure was really good. Loving Hip Hop LA only because Brian was on it and he made me watch it. Brian was on it in what way? He was. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. He was in some fight scenes. He was in some fight scenes. He was in a couple fighting. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. He, fighting. Did he, he throw did. a drink at somebody? No. Oh. When when uh, was it a patience? Did the drink out K Michelle? Mm, the cup mm, hit Brian. Mm-hmm. The. <laughs> So there's a wonderful reaction <laughs> shot of him turning around looking like what the fuck. <laughs> He's also at the um the the is it the wedding or the gender reveal for A one and Lyrica? Lyrica. He's at one of their things. He's also like at a pool party. He's also at like a showcase. Brown was in there a couple times. And this is how you know we are in LA, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this yes. is how you know we are in LA. Yes. Uh the next one is blackish. Love okay. blackish. That's they can fair. do nothing wrong. Not grownish. Just black-ish? grownish is good, but that's my honorable mention. I just really feel like grownish should be an HBCU, but that's just neither here nor there. Yeah, I wish they were. Uh, yeah, 
they mis dropped the ball on that one. But we see what type of kids they are though. Like they're rich ass. Yeah. It's not a lot of rich yeah, people who go, yeah. go to HBCUs. Yeah. Well, I Whitley. can't name one. Except actually. Whitley. Um and then number five, Giants. My favorite YouTube series, which got a daytime Emmy nomination. Oh, so it's not a TV show. No, it's on YouTube. Oh, it's on it's a radio network. It's two TV shows. It's bitch, it's a TV show. I mean, it's most, a web series. It's a TV show. I mean, one of the biggest movies. I mean, one of the most discussed movies at the moment is on Netflix. Right. I, everything is transitioning from TV because TV doesn't know how to get it right. <laughs> yeah. And plus, like, Bird Boss, that's not like a... I don't think that's a motion picture type of thing. It's not. Which is why I think it gets so, it gets well, so no, much it props. Well, no, it could have been. It could have been. It could have been. It could have been, but then it would have had to been upped a little more. Yeah, the budget would have been a little bit more. We, and, had, yeah. we would have had to see the monsters. And I think yeah. that's another reason why it's commendable as well. It's a Netflix film. Mm-hmm. Because four four million solid. people saw it. Yeah, Netflix Pushing is five. the new wave. Netflix has these movie producers and these studios shook. Yeah, because it used to be just a streaming service, right? Yeah, but think about who they've had like over the last couple of years. Will Smith. I know Will Smith, Sandra, Sandra, um, Beyonce is coming. Ellen DeGeneres, uh, Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres, yeah, Jerry Seinfeld, Beyonce next year. What's she gonna be? Oh, there's visual albums coming on Netflix. Oh, is for it? who? For Lemonade? Not for Lemonade. The for new what? one. Oh, exciting. It's coming what on Netflix. One? Her new album. Oh, we don't know. Beyonce just has to touch everything, and it's it's she put really. Should have put it on Hulu. It, it can be everywhere. Beyonce will touch everything before she dies. <laughs> you know Netflix <laughs> is going to shut down. Huh? Oh yeah, she's going to ruin. The All app. y'all going to make accounts. Everybody's going to make an account. I'm going to just keep using. They're going to make it free because this because she did this with HBO uh, now. That's how everybody had the HBO now app for like a month. And she then did deleted what? after the trial. Lemonade came on HBO now. Oh, did it. Mm-hmm. I had definitely downloaded it and for that. Uh-huh. And that's the only reason why everybody watched it. And then as soon as it was over, that, then Bye. so was the app. Goodbye. <laughs> that was done. Thank you so much for your services. <laughs> delete. Delete. <laughs> delete all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Chris. My uh, picks for TV shows is A Million Little Things. Uh, number two is This Is Us. Number three, All American, which is a great football show uh, with Tay Diggs. Uh, number four is Atlanta. What was that? It was music because it was no music playing. You know, we haven't done that in a while <laughs> yeah. on this show, actually. <laughs> that's a, that's a music. Number four wow. is Atlanta. Number five is Love Is. My honorable mentions is Insecure and Grownish. Okay. Insecure is only Insecure and Grownish are in my like mentions because season three just didn't get dope until Lawrence came back. It was really a bore until it was Lawrence not came a bore. back. This shit was not good. It I was enjoyed good. it because I was watching the progression of her life. Like you got to think about it. The times where Dream was it was there. dull. Oh no, I'm talking about. I'm talking. About, well, I, what was you about? I'm to say? thinking of like how the way the show is structured. The times where Dream wasn't in your life. It's like slow days, slow days, slow days. It was not slow days. Yes, it was. Like, it, it was that a shit lot of wasn't stuff. good. It's a quit her job. She did. Tiffany. Tiffany's pregnant. Shit. We got the introduced to the party lift. We got introduced to new dudes. She Coachella. We got to see Kelly act The best bomb episode asshole. was Coachella. Yeah. And that was pre The first four episodes were not. Boy. But they were boring. But it's no, life depicting art. It's like they life weren't. isn't always on a 10. It's like some days you just go to work and you just But like, that's when it got. Up. That's when it was a 10 out of 10 when Lawrence came back. No, it wasn't. I enjoyed that's it for the me. whole time, but I mean, I get what you're saying. You want a show all the time. I, all the time. I like that the show is like life. It's sometimes up, sometimes down, and it can be chill. Mm. Um, now for our disappointments: music, entertainment, news, etc. So number one is Nicki Minaj. <laughs> yeah, child. that was my number one too. Child, child. I'm disappointed in Queen. I'm disappointed in her attitude. I am thankful for that slogan, "Slaves to Freedom." <laughs> um, I should play it, but. Other than that, I did not see this year going for Nikki the way it went. Like the way it should have went. The way it should have went. Yeah. Go for it, Calvin. You think Calvin and Tuffin was walking around with a fucking nice shiny fucking dress on with a fucking crown on her head when she was taking slaves to freedom? That's right. <laughs> so I mean, honestly, Nikki, I hope in the new year. I mean, she she fit. Nikki ain't changing. No, she's not. Absolutely she not. not. She finished with a new man that all of her fans are critiquing. I want her fans to understand that Nikki does not give a flying fuck. Okay. He's a sexual predator or some shit? Allegedly. What is he? Apparently, he well, has he is something a, he is a convicted past. rapist. But. She tripping. But they said that he was the same age as the girl and the mom. The mom? The mom filed charges oh. because she did not like him and said that he raped her daughter. But he also did Touch go to jail. He, fucked the mom he also too? did go to jail for killing somebody. Some porn shit. Did he? Oh, uh, Nikki out here fooling. So, yeah, Nikki is a, a huge disappointment this year. Next year, I'm hoping for more and better everything. Number two, Kanye West. I don't know if he will remember this year because his pills have not kicked in. <laughs> but 
Come back to us, Kanye. Any day now. Number. You three. keep saying he out of a sunken place. I just don't see it. He's still sunk. <laughs> Come back to us, Kanye. Number three, Mac Miller's death. Moment of silence. Um, because. Just because it was tragic and unexpected. It was one of those losses we didn't expect to take in 2018. At least I didn't expect to take it. And I also don't like the way that the energy was pushed on to Ariana because mm-hmm. it's just not fair to her. It's not fair to her. Um, number four, Beyonce not giving us a solo album. I did not ask for the card. <laughs> when I said come back, I specifically was hoping for some type of B-Day Dangerously in Love, Beyonce, four type of jump off, and you gave me Family Affair, Mary J. Blige voice. <laughs> I want what I want, and I'm not going to support what I don't want. There were some good you songs know, there. Everything is Love is not on my top five. D- duh. I listened to it a couple times, and I enjoy it because it's just Beyonce and Jay-Z. And it's a good, it was good, but it was not what I wanted. That's not what I asked for. Yeah, at all. And you didn't give me a receipt. <laughs> so I can't give it back. Right. And number five, our president is disgusting. Trash. Those were my disappointments this year. All right, so Kelvin's disappointments of 2018. Please let me hear one. Number one, Justin Justin fucking Timberlake. What did he do? This year was supposed to be the GOAT year for Justin Timberlake. He was supposed to come back, reclaim his crown. He did. As our vanilla ice cream (laughs) R&B. The album was great. The album was okay. As I go back and listen to it, there are some bops, but I think I gave it so much because it was Justin Timberlake. I, I love think that I think my standards for a Justin Timberlake were just so high, and I just became such a fan that I'm like, oh my goodness, it's Justin Timberlake, I love it. But going back and listening to it, it's good, but it's the replay value is not amazing. And don't say you replay it all the time because I, you are my friend on iTunes. Nigga, I just listened to my, it the other you day. You are my friends on iTunes. I, I just listened to it play. the other I day. I see your recently I'm gonna listen to it today. And then after the Super Bowl, the it. Super Bowl performance was really was cool. great. Was it was a really cool performance? But then I think he started to drop the ball from the tour on to the book. To now he canceled the tour because of vocal issues, quote unquote. I think this is all a PR disaster, and he's really trying to figure out what he's doing now. And I think it all started when he took the Super Bowl job because I love Justin Timberlake, but if he's for the people, he needs to be for the people and say no. Hmm. So that was kind of like my biggest disappointment. I really thought this was going to be the year of Justin because he started off with the Super Bowl. And usually, if you start with Super Bowl, you're supposed to have a good year, but also look at Katy Perry. So That's rare. I haven't heard shit from her this yeah. year. Um, <laughs> Is he still with Jessica Biel? Yes, they're yeah. still happily married. Well, yeah. that's good. At least not everything's going to shit. Yeah. My number two. They have two, a uh, nice little boy together. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good. My number two is Nicki Minaj for obvious reasons, girls. Uh, her and Kanye need to save themselves. Uh, Kanye is my number three because Kanye, him, and Nicki taking slaves to freedom. Right. Together. Number four, white people <laughs> have disappointed me so much this year. <laughs> From calling the cops on people for no reason. That was a big thing. To voting. Mm. To the fake feminist movement. Mm. To supporting Trump. To supporting Trump. You guys have disappointed me so much this year. I had so much hope for y'all. But yet again, you have let me down. To Therefore, be fair, there were some black people that voted for Trump. Yeah, yeah. they they they've been they got paid. Cast eyes. If 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 Trump offered you a million to pay to vote for him, would you do it? No, no. A million dollars? No, no. Really? Because he's going. What a five million? Five million. What what would be our price? <laughs> what would be our price? It can't be a price because I mean, if I have hindsight as to what I know now, it morally it's fucked up. If it I agree is. to that, from I'm killing somebody. If I have hindsight. If I have, Y'all wouldn't take no money. No, the second child that's eight years no. old just died in yeah, detention camp. That's OD. Who? I, he wasn't here. Last week, there was a seven-year-old girl who died. And oh, I remember holding that. Facility. Yeah, 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 and now this week, another child has died. That's what I'm saying. Really? If I, yes. yes. Wow. So I'm saying if I have hindsight, I can morally be okay with that. That's no. crazy. Ain't no way y'all wouldn't take 10 million, 20 million. I don't picture myself being broke in the future, so I don't take. I don't need like dirty money. Like I don't. I don't think I'm going to be broke. Um, I, I would. And then Trump, <laughs> Trump <laughs> still, oh, Trump I is still president. Would. Is my number five because Maxine, I was rooting for you, but you know what? You are now, I'm, I'm the, you are now her. the speaker of the house. I'm waiting for her to, to do her fucking job. She, when everybody, when inaugurations happen, I believe at the beginning of the year, and we get the brand new Congress, and she is now the speaker of the house. I think some things are about to happen. All Trump's homies are in jail. Guess who needs to be in jail next? Trump. Trump. So those are my big uh, top five disappointments of the year. Mine are a bit long. This yeah, first one, clearly. Yeah, I think you took the longest of most. My, 
Why is Nicki Minaj submitting all of her music for Grammys and not getting not one nomination? <laughs> that shit is so funny to me. And that's disappointing. Like, how are you an artist? How can you really classify yourself as an artist? And you submit your shit for Grammys and you don't even get one? Not one. The irony of it is You submitted her an album. album. You submitted 19 <laughs> tracks. I'm sure some features had to be submitted. The Nothing? irony is her album's named Queen. <laughs> that's so crazy to me. <laughs> It was the energy and you, around your it. Your podcast is named Queen. Like, Queen Radio. And I is that still a thing? No. I, it, yeah. I think it, it did It only happens when, she, the, when she's releasing something. Good, she kept just playing did her own music. And it's it was like, just like, every time she was going to release a song, she started drama. Just like the last one when she did the Taste remix or Drip song. With, uh, with Ty she's gonna, yeah. she's, She rehashed the beef with Cardi B. She brought up the stuff from the fight that happened earlier in the year. And this yeah. is why you're a disappointment. Because the podcast late. was nothing about... Nothing. nothing. It wasn't about other queens or nothing. It was just she did give us some funny moments and some flex. She bombs. did, yeah. But <laughs> other than that, number two is SZA proving us that she truly can't sing. Well, I was never on the SZA train. I, I was, wasn't either. But she never her live. Like I've never seen her live as much as I did until this year. That was eye opening. Um, I didn't expect SZA. I didn't to know she was like that, that terrible. I, I knew she couldn't sing, but I didn't know she was that she was bad. To yeah, blame I didn't know it on her what, voice. Yeah. No, you just can't sing. <laughs> but you know, I like that we didn't get rid of SZA this year because of her. Oh, singing. we should have. We still, we could have. Right, we should have so got rid of her. But we still like her energy, and because of that, we kept her around. We still you like her. her energy. Yeah, we still I like really her. I don't like SZA. SZA's I, I enjoy her. I enjoy her as a spirit. I love she's her so hair. Sweet. I love her hair. She's a beautiful girl, and she's happy to be here. Yeah, I love how long her hair is. I appreciate her, but. Music, nah, girl. Music, yeah. does, she can sing it's out. not the only Move way. around. All the stars nominated for Song of the Year. For what? <laughs> Did you Have you heard that live? Terrible. Mm-hmm. Number three is uh, Madonna doing the Aretha's tribute. You Child. didn't even give Madonna two N's. Because she doesn't oh, deserve the second I thought that's how you spelled Madonna. She doesn't deserve the second N's. I thought that's how you spelled it. Madonna. <laughs> we, we buried that M with Aretha in Prince. <laughs> yeah. Because that was just, that you made it about yourself, and it wasn't you didn't say anything about Aretha really that I remember. Number four is Ariana Grande taking all this heat for just shit that was just never oh, her yeah. control. That's Poor right. Ariana, yeah, um, a bad idea for her. Number five is the Brett Kavanaugh case, which oh, I just yeah. thought that was the funniest shit I've ever in my life. Yeah, seen. and he still got well. We've and the seen nigga, it happened before with it. Yeah, either. that was just that was just hilarious. My honorable mentions are Lauren Hill. She's always late for a concert. Always. <laughs> Kanye West, he's still in this sunken place. I'm still upset that Drake hid this son from everybody. You felt like you took that personally, didn't you? I did because I'm like, my nigga, you got to like, I have a nephew I don't know about. Like that's how I felt. Like, like you sound psychotic. I really just felt like my nigga. Like you didn't. Why didn't you tell anybody? You should have told us. You sound fucking crazy. Um, like Orlando Brown to babysit the twins. <laughs> Orlando Brown and his just. Orlando did y'all Brown see the Doctor Phil uh, thing with his contacts? I was it contacts? The, yeah, he had contacts. In that. Did I tell you Orlando Brown was at Sweet Chicks? And was sitting by there, himself? You no, know, he had a girl with him, but like he was standing like sitting right there. And I came out the door and I looked to the left and said, "Oh shit, that's Orlando Brown." How did he look? He looked actually more healthier than I've seen him in recent. Days. But why would he go on an interview that high? Like, what? What the fuck? For what? Child. And it's Doctor Phil. It's not like Montel Williams or it's, some shit. Why we gotta do that? Montel was a Doctor Phil. Montel. Montel Williams. Montel. Montel was the Doctor Phil of his time. At his was time, it? yes. Oh, okay. And it's white versus here for black. Yeah. Chris. Uh, no, I wasn't trying to make it that. But it was. I really <laughs> Montel was trying to make it that. Shit. Where'd you get this pump and dural pump pump from? My mom got it for me. I hate it. The thing to sit your phone up. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just for the fingers. It's both. No, well, it can be that, but it's like a stand. Oh. Well, my mom got it for me. Why do you hate it? Because it's the Lakers? Yeah, I just don't like the pump pumps. Ain't, ain't this how they come? They look like they hurt. Yeah. To oh, it's comfortable. Like, like a bad flip flop. Let's, let's get rid of those things in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody get rid of your pump pump things on the back of your phones. Um, So my next one is Iggy Azalea. Uh, did y'all see when she was on her concert and her dancer was having, having a seizure, seizure and she kept performing? Yeah. I got it. I'm gonna say I didn't know she kept dancing. No, she she, she was performing. dancing. Homegirl fell out. Iggy kept. She was she was on the mic and she was like, "Yeah, let's get a medic up here." And she just kept rapping. And then the sound guy just cut her mic off. Oh. <laughs> but granted, if that was me, you would have kept rapping. I would have kept going. She's supposed to keep performing. You're supposed to keep like performing. She was trying. And, but no, I, I would have checked on my dancer. I would have. I would have said. I said. I would have said someone get a manic up here, and I would have told the dancers to go over and do what they need to do, and I would have went over to the corner. 
and said, give me a spotlight right here on this mm-hmm. side, dark the rest of the stage, right. and I'm going to perform. That's fucked up. Because you came to see me. That's fucked oh, up. I'm so fancy. And did you see, like, it was huge though in there, too. You already know. <laughs> get her off the stage, y'all. Get her off. <laughs> and my last disappointment, which I'm just highly disappointed oh, in, was child. Charlie Pugh's voice note album. We had so much hope Because I, I was just hoping that the album was going to be, it should have been as good as Shawn Mendes' yeah. album. Charlie had everything he needed to have an amazing year. Everything. But he kept pushing this album back and back and back and back. And then when it came out. It wasn't even that good. It wasn't. Like, what were you pushing this back for? Like, what were we waiting for? I feel like he added tracks. And then got rid of the other ones? No, I feel like he just, I feel like it was done, like, around 10 tracks. Mm -hmm. And he pushed it back, added, like, five more. Mm -hmm. Pushed it back, added, like, two more. That's what I feel like he kept doing. uh, And I really was a Charlie Pooh fan. And I was really ready for him to uh, drop an amazing album. The only like, thing we, that didn't we were so hyped. The only thing that didn't cancel him as me as a fan was the the Boys and Men, Boys and Men song. Yeah, but Other he disappointed that, me yeah, this whole year because I was just so mad. It was supposed to come out twenty seventeen, but it came out what January? Top of I think? The year, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, Charlie Poof. Mm-hmm. He can still sing. But... How long has this been going? Okay. On? So let's do it if I told you that real quick because it's a I real told you that. it's a real firecracker around. We have six minutes, and then that's how quick you it'll really? be. I already know my answer, and y'all should too. What? What's the question? Um, oh, Kelvin. can I get the sound effect? Kelvin, it's Kelvin from work. I'm sorry. Can I? Oh my god! No, you can't be on the board and, and oh my bullshit. gosh! Oh, fuck is you doing? I told you that. Thank you. I told you you want to do it again? No, it's not. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah. Now, if I told you that, <laughs> if you could only wear one piece of clothing for the rest of your life, what would it be? A hat. Oh, yeah, that's your wig. That's my wig. If you could only wear one? Mm-hmm. For me, it'd probably be a crop top. Now, I want a variety. <laughs> I want a hoodie crop top. I want a long sleeve sweater crop top. I want a mesh crop top. I just want it to be a crop top. I got to wear a hat. I'm going to just say pants. I thought you would have said right crops. Yeah, I thought you would say crap. Nah. Well, damn. So I got to walk around barefoot? Dang. Shoes, all that shit count? Eh, you get the bare essentials. Yeah, I'm going to need pants. I need a hat. Because I get cold. It is cold. I get, Yeah, I'm going to have to go with pants. I'm going to keep the crop top. What the comments talking about? Well, Brittany says she's very uh, disappointed with um, Trey Songs. He said, with Why? That what did he do? Year, that thirty-four year old with that young thought. What young thought? I thought it was the abuse situation. I thought it was just bullshit EPs he just put out. It might have been a few things. Or a white whore ass. The case, no, I no, the the yet, porn star. He was a porn star. You haven't you haven't been keeping up what's happened in the last couple of days? What happened with the? I saw porn? him so, post a picture on Instagram. Yeah, he posted a picture with him and Lori Harvey, because uh, apparently those are things. But apparently Lori and Future were a thing. And Trey has also been talking in the DMs of Snapchat and all that stuff with the porn star. But this porn star is known for like getting things like rammed in her. Oh my god! Like what else do porn stars do? No, not 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 just penises. I'm talking about things. Wow! Like a pillow, like machines and shit. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, it's not much that and she's been like, fucking future. He's been fucking up everyone's future. She put yeah. out a sonogram. She's shameless. So. Trey Songz may be the latest hip hop artist to have a porn star baby mama. I'm over it. That could date no porn star. Trey Songz is ruining his career. He's yeah, and them EPs him. he just put out, when I didn't need them. I just need a hard break from Trey Songz. Five to ten years. Shit, it seemed like he ain't been up. He, for that he, long. Well, he just well, released at eleven twenty eight. He just released eleven twenty eight on his birthday. Let's Ooh, make we it. We didn't official. need those. Let's we honestly didn't. So I'm saying, let's move forward. No, was, was November twenty eighth. <laughs> <laughs> he should honestly pull I a brandy. I just cracked myself the fuck up. Trey Songz can no! pull a brandy, <laughs> find an older older figure to hang with, be yeah. mentored, and and you know make some just, videos yep. on Target or just something. Just like Brandy and, and Jennifer, Jennifer Lewis, Lewis. Are, he needs to become friends with Keith Sweat. Not, well, no, Keith Sweat. Not Keith. I, you know, I don't know how they'll hang out and where it'll be. Maybe the Piggly Wiggly. What the fuck they got to talk about? Other than R&B, I really don't see a commonality. He can hang I mean, with Bobby no! Brown. He can hang with Bobby Brown. <laughs> yeah! I don't want him to hang no! with Bobby Brown. I don't want him to hang with Bobby Brown. <laughs> okay, Kelvin. It was only funny to first. Stop trying to make fat trap. It is happen. funny to me. Stop trying to make fat trap. <laughs> no! 
I feel like that's not only he's gonna keep saying it like that for the rest of his life. <laughs> Do we have time for uniquely speaking? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> really fast. My top five, uniquely speaking, of the year. Number one was my favorite, uh, "The Life of a Grape," which is my very favorite one of all year long. Just remember, you are a grape, no matter how they try to put you. Um, number two, replant. Sometimes you got to replant and get into a new pot because you outgrow your pop pot. Uh, number three, junkyard dreams. Stop just how to put everybody's dreams into a junkyard worth of a car uh number four the nomination uh just to be nominated means that you're doing what you need to do don't be discouraged if you don't win that time uh, and then five thank you leaves room for more just remember always have an attitude of gratitude i think my favorite one was the replant one which you did twice this year bitch I you're did. not low you're not <laughs> low because i, I heard it once before and i'm like why do i know this so well? i did it twice um and I'm still waiting on French Prince. I enjoyed the um oh yeah, that, that's a year in the making at this point. Yeah. Um cool the nomination I enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed the the nomination. I remember the life of a great. That was a good one too. Um I think I'm gonna have to say either replant or the nomination. Mm-hmm. One of my favorites. I don't think I have like a top one. But the one I remember the most is the great one. Mm. Be a great. So for the last time in 2018, where are you guys? I'll start. I am excited. <laughs> I am excited because it's not very long until I turn 25. And I always... You got like a week or two. January is always kind of just my month to make everything about me. Like New Year's, people just text you New Year's because it's New Year's. Mm-hmm. Then Founders Day is January 9th. Mm-hmm. Then my birthday Are y'all doing January. anything? Out here? Out here? I haven't heard of anything. I would like I'm to do something not that's not groups or stuff. Day. I would like to do something that is not... Morning. I might not go. I'll go because you know I'm only sigma twice a year. I may just wear my blue and just keep it pushing. This time, this time I'm gonna be sigma three times a year. So I always do crazy. that though, and that's why I want to go do something because it's just like Founders Day back home is a thing. Like I would go out, but here it's like I don't know anyone, and then like, uh, just the place is picked. I, mean, last I don't want to bowl. I don't want to do karaoke. I don't want to do no whack shit. I want to turn no, up. The and last be time, no, the other last yeah. year was straight. Where we went to that, uh, where we went to Pips. Yeah, Pips was That cool. was straight. Did y'all enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah, it was straight. Didn't y'all leave early? Well, I had, we had to work the next day. Yeah, uh, it was well, a school man. night. But yeah, it was it was cool for that. But I don't know, I may not even do shit. Because my chapter is annoying. Mm. Well, yeah, so I'm excited for January. I have a lot of projects underway. And it's, I don't know, I'm just really excited to turn 25. I feel like with that becomes a whole new adult mindset. You'll be a quarter mindset. century, yeah. It's it time hits to lock you hard. In. It's time mm-hmm. to lock in. I'm excited about the new outfits, new everything. Come on, new outfits. New everything. Go Oh, um, I'm excited about 2019. Um, I'm really into numerology, and my number is five. Mm. And 2019 is a really exciting year for a five to be creative and to really go out and just use your brain power and to create new things and I've really been I have a feeling that the way things are shifting because I always pray to God just move things how it should be the way that he's already starting to shift the end of 2018 I th- excuse me I feel like 2019 is going to be something that I will always remember and I'm ready for it um <clears throat> I'm gonna yeah, I think I'm in a good space. Uh, I Like I told y'all a few weeks ago, I don't know what, but I feel like something in 2019 is going to happen. I just don't know what. And um, It's a good feeling. Yeah, I just, I like where the direction, like the, the transition from 18 to 19, like I like I like how it's flowing. Like I don't feel like I'm starting over with anything. Mm-hmm. And um, I think me and Dream are in a good spot. I think I'm in a good spot with my family, my nephew. Um my friends, uh, yeah, I just think I'm I'm good. That's a good feeling. I'm exciting to yeah. know that shit is real copacetical yeah. on the way out. Mm-hmm. I got some things to rework. Child, <laughs> me too. I'm just happy that I'm going into 2019 single. Yeah, I guess I'm going in there too by default. Not, not, <laughs> not, 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 you know, I don't have nothing like, you know, like I'm not pressed about anything. Nothing is tying mm-hmm. you down officially. Because 2018, I told myself I, I wanted a girlfriend. 
Shit took a long time, but it happened. It takes time. Shit is well, real. it felt it didn't take a long time. It just felt like it took a long time. Cause it'd be days of loneliness. Like it'd be days. That, it'd be days by yourself. You just like, damn, still ain't nobody here. Which is not a great way to think, but it is what it is on some insecure shit. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, you can catch me on Instagram at the World According to Eric, Twitter and Facebook at Eric Devante, and Snapchat at Picasso underscore three. And you can find me, Kelvin Unique, at Kelvin Ology K E L V I N O L O G Y. And on Instagram and Twitter, you can find me at C C C A W underscore. And for 2018, I hope you guys got right. That's right. You better get right or get left, bitch. You better get right.